It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Back for another week of uh brilliant idiotness. Yeah. Um, today is inauguration day, man. You know, it's also a sad day for some, you know. But let's not act like we're not gonna miss the dawn, bro. Yo, we're gonna miss him, bro. They gotta miss give him his Twitter dawn, back, bro. bro. Come on. <laughs> they did. Oh, he, he got yeah, back. He got a Twitter back so, this morning. Is he oh, live tweeting the inauguration? I don't know if he's live crazy. Tweeting. Nah, his pride ain't gonna let him yet. Nah, his pride ain't. Gonna nah, let him, let him do it. Yo, his suit is trash. I he was, needs to start. I'm not gonna lie. I was a little it. disappointed today. Mm. I thought he would do a little bit more to steal the thunder away from um. From Biden and Kamala. Nah. Because it's easy easy to do because the media is making Trump the A story when they shouldn't. The A mm. story should be the inauguration, mm. right? B story should be Kamala. C story should be Trump leaving. But all day today on CNN, it was Don, 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 that's Don, ratings, Don, baby. Don. That's the ratings, bro. They're going to all take a hit now that we got Biden. Shit oh, about to get boring. Oh, no. What you about to see, motherfuckers got to prove they good again. Because it's easy to stand on the soapbox of you know, fuck Trump, fuck all that negative shit oh, that's going yeah, on over yeah. there. Oh, yeah, When you got a villain, it's easy. When to, you got a villain, it's easy. Now you got to come correct. Now you got to go out there and really show your power. Like Stephen A. Smith, when there was no sports, he was going on every day talking about sports. Beast, though. That no, was no, genius. Beast. Him and Max Kellerman was... That no, was no, no, no. unbelievable. Yeah, absolutely. Got a 100%. sports show. There's oh, yeah, no absolutely. sports. Absolutely. Just absolutely. talking. Absolutely. Now, we got our peoples in the building. Yes. Uh, gang, gang, would you like to introduce yourselves, even though they can see you on camera anyway? Well, no, some people gang, are gang, listening. Like the, some like people are listening. Intro. You want to see? Um, we have Mandy. You know what I mean? It's your girl. Pumps. It's your girl, that bitch, a.k.a. Paint the Stallion. Relax, just the Buddha hole. It's just a Buddha hole. <laughs> Y'all know I still be playing with the Buddha hole. Oh, Peg God. the Stallion is crazy. <laughs> Peg the Stallion I is know, wild. I was going to give it away. Name, I was going to be That's a crazy done name, with it. yo. Peg the stallion. But I'm stuck stallion. with it. She said I'm stuck with it. But wait, we're, we also have Wheezy here. Wheezy. Jesus. Hi. <laughs> Together they are horrible decisions. Mm -hmm. That's right. You um, used to fuck up our names until you uh, put us on your network. What I used to uh, say. You used to be on the Breakfast Club like Wheezy and uh, Mandy. Uh, with Mandy and Wheezy. Uh, Those are your names. That's the name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it right. right. I mean, no, you no. would know one and not the other. And then you would be like, oh, so, oh, oh she going to kill me. Uh, what's the other one? Oh, yeah. You <laughs> did used to say what's the other one. Facts. <laughs> but that's okay. Just keep talking. <laughs> how many uh nationally syndicated number one how many people is that i don't care who they think it is just horrible type in whore horrible horrible type in whore, we pop up That's oh right. wow is even though we're, we're taking whores when we came last time we were like really whores we have boyfriends and shit whoa, you whoa, guys got whoa, boyfriends whoa. <laughs> we are trying to sell the show oh okay i'm still sucking dick i don't know about this one i Stop. just sucked dick this morning All right. but it was the dick that stayed in my mouth oh so time. you wake up to that so I had the conversation with my boyfriend. Uh -huh. Sex at night is for the woman. Okay. Sex in the coffee, morning is bro. for man. Really? Yes, because they wake up hard. Yeah, so yeah, men yeah, should yeah. be fulfilled man, in the morning. I haven't, really I haven't woken up hard in five years. You don't years, wake bro. up hard? <sighs> yeah, I'm not going to lie to that. Nah. Well, no, no, I still do. I wake up having to pee. <laughs> That's how I know I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I got to warm it up. It's like when you start the car early in the morning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not the warm up. Yeah, yeah. Once I get up and get going, then it gets hard. But I don't wake up just like. So you just be uh, sitting at the breakfast club with a hard dick? Um, no, I usually drive in with a hard dick. <laughs> oh, okay. And then once I do like my meditation in the morning, read my daily now, affirmations, see, I think it comes down. be on the chew. She be talking about how they fuck five times back to back. That's he be crazy. Go back in. That's just. Why, you dating, why are you dating an eighteen year old? You just wrong for that. Not. He's, he's like almost fifty. Really? Oh, oh he wow. definitely on that chew. On that honey he's pack. Definitely. Yeah. On that honey no, pack. That honey pack. I don't know don't what honey pack that. is. We got a promo. We used to have a promo. Code. Yeah, but don't do that. No, he just he just takes sea moss. He drinks his beet juice. I do sea moss and beet juice. He's very healthy. Dog, I'm fucked healthy niggas. There's no way this is a real person. It is. He's very real. No. And what do you mean five in a row? What do you mean by that? Like, he comes and he stays hard. And nah, we go again. Nah, 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 nah. Who's this robot you date? That's, That's, not a, robot. Robot. That's a serial you? killer. That's oh. Richard Ramirez. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Ramirez. That's the Night Stalker. Why? Just That's who you're dating. <laughs> <laughs> you're dating the Night Stalker, yo. I mean, All these people I feel are like sick. I've had nights like that, but not like consistent. Nah, 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 Three minimum. Nah, nah, nah. That's PDs. Three nuts minimum? Three nuts minimum. Wait, nah, anybody got time for that. In a day or like he nuts and puts it back? Why you don't have a job, bro? <laughs> yeah. He clearly don't have no nah, job. He how much money is he making? Nah, he's he good. He's he good. That's what I'm saying. He must be retired. What does he do for a living? We ain't gonna talk about all no, that. No, we need to. He drives nah. a bus. What's no. his race? He drives a bus. He's black. He's black? 
Wow. He's no, black. no, no, African no. African American. No, no. Why do you say wow? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> We're not going to He's making up 50. for something. That, you can't fuck all that amount of time and you're doing, you know, well in life. He is. <laughs> You and can't. you know what's funny you about can't. you saying that? I yeah. always say the best dick is broke dick because they have time to give you like good dick. They feel bad. The guys with they the most money, it's, yeah. it's like it's either medium or okay. Yeah. But when they are broke, oh I'll give my you whack God. dick in a purse. <laughs> yeah, exactly it's just it's a better combination you can't swing whack dick for ego though you still gotta put it down dude you know I, I, mean? I had a i was talking about flagrant i had like a real fucking problem last couple weeks where i was coming super fast like super fast like, like oh, teenage fast what is super fast no i mean like she could uh, usually my position is i'm on my back right uh, and the girl's on top because i got legs are in the air got you and my okay. legs are in the air mm. and uh and uh, peg the stallion, bro. This girl's crazy, bro. <laughs> this girl's so wild. Sorry. This is a wild you said girl. You was on your back. Go no, ahead. no, like she's on top, and I can okay. control it when she's on top. For whatever reason, it's easier for me to control. But she started doing something where I couldn't control it, and I was coming at. I could come in three pumps. I would have to tell her to like get off, and it was. I was like traumatized. You should had, congratulate her. That's you know, no, at first it's cool. Then after a while, that she needs to get off. Yo, but yeah. your girl be working out like crazy. She dude. works like, out like crazy. She might be a little. You Something might need to was get going on. Together. Something was going on, and I, I literally figured out what it was. Thank God. But I was having the most insecure well, two weeks well, of my what, life. What was it? <laughs> she was coming up too high on a dick. Oh, she was taking that whole she, thing. No, she wasn't taking the whole thing. Once I put the whole thing in there, then I had a little bit more room to operate. You know what that is? It's your the tip, the front of It's very sensitive. So like, exact all the my shit is in my head. My my shaft is like, uh, what is it? Pr Lieutenant Dan's legs. Oh my God. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you can, this, this is my shit. Like, you go like that, I don't feel shit. The like second you get to the tip, tip. whoa. You have a, you have a parapolinus. I got yeah. <laughs> Tip, the tip is crazy yeah. sensitive. So once I figured out, I fucking calmed down. But I was, I was literally, I was going through the most traumatic two weeks of my life. Did she bro. like coddle I felt you so after insecure. Like, it's okay, baby. Nah, at first she was like, no, nah, it's all good. Like it's kind of like flattering. Then after a while, not not let go. <laughs> Hello. And then like she was picking fights about shit, and I didn't have the confidence to stand up for myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, like she kind of like snapping me about like watching a movie, and I was like, okay, I guess we don't need to watch the Angels and Demons. <laughs> like I, I, I didn't. Have, but when you're making your girl come and you're satisfying her, oh yeah, then you can be dominant it. again. Yes, yeah, like, yeah. I want to talk tonight. If yeah. you ain't making me come, you gotta submit. Yeah, but, just, to. but just give her credit. Just be like, yo, this pussy is the bomb. I like, tried that for the first week, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I tried that for the first Boy, week. If a guy is fucking you for hours and hours, weeks. your oh, wow. pussy is garbage. Yeah. Well, this this pussy was very good. <laughs> what? You know men oh, like shit. to pride themselves on the duration. <laughs> no, no. no, because he comes. Just fucking you for hours and hours, your pussy is garbage. No, just because he comes multiple times doesn't mean that <laughs> it's hours that we fucking for. That's Wait. right. That's right. That's true. Oh, you so know it's what quick. I mean? Yeah. Short nuts. No, not short, short nuts, nuts, but like no. 10 minute nuts. Short, short, short nuts sound like a cartoon. Short nut maniacs and short nuts coming to you tonight. Short nuts are midgets in Philly. Short <laughs> nut asses. Oh I, okay, no, no that's fun. Good. If you're giving me like a five minute, then you come no, another, not it's five, like fun. It's like, it's like 10, porn we shit. It's like a bukkake nah, with one person. It's fun. No. Nah, me neither, bro. Cut that shit out, Nuts take too much out of me at this age. Yeah. I like 12 minute sex. 12 minutes is fine. That's a, that's good, that's a great amount of time. And then you length. come and then we go again. No, 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 no. If you don't think 12 minutes is a long time, Shower. do 12 minutes high intensity cardio and tell me that's not a long time. Hey, time. that's a great 12 idea. 12 minutes is a long time. Okay, but not Yo, everyone right. is at high intensity for the whole 12 right, fine. minutes. That's a whole football quarter, bro. 12 minutes, a whole football. Do this. Hold your breath 12 minutes. No, no. Too early no. you can't. Yeah, no, you die. Real, Talk yo. about 12 minutes is a long. <laughs> Hold your breath then. Tell you, 12 minutes is a long time. That shit don't sound like much. Yeah, right. Nah, that's a long time. 12 though. minutes? Okay. Three minutes is a long time if you're doing it right. Yeah. Okay, wow. Yeah, I wanted to get on All board right. with you with that one, but that's, but that's not why, that long. But that's why Three pussy, minutes though. is pretty Eat short. pussy and sure is a nut. Yeah. And so if you do come fast, at least everybody got it. I, still, I agree. I that's still, not encompassed yeah. in the 12 minutes. Yeah. Foreplay mm -hmm. shouldn't be. I still don't know how to eat pussy, man. I don't know if I'm ever going to learn How many times skill. have I talked about eating pussy on this fucking show? Yo, you? have you ever seen a black person swim for the first time like <laughs> as an adult? 
like you ever see a black Where dude get going? thrown? I taught two friends. <laughs> no, but like you ever see a black dude get thrown in like a pool or the ocean and he's like paddling like crazy, <laughs> trying to survive? That's how I am eating pussy. It's up. only like that. <laughs> it's only like that because he got jeans and Tim's on. Bro. That's he also true. Just no, <laughs> it's very simple. You just reason, have to bro. make out with it. Use it as its lips. Yeah. Turn. So that they match each other uh-huh. and it won't be that difficult because we eat pussy like this. That's how I eat pussy. You need to eat it like this. Oh, what shit. do you mean? So Turn we the camera sideways. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> we see? Look, what you talking here about? Here we go. I give this tip all the time. I promise you. As someone who she eats pussy, she said eat pussy like an Andrew Schultz Instagram Whoa. video. We eat. Oh yeah. Turn your phone. Turn your, Turn your, pussy. Turn your phone sideways. Turn your pussy sideways. Yo, imagine you telling your girl that shit. Yo. Turn your pussy sideways. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weak. You got to do that for the culture. No, nah, that's good marketing. I got no, it. No, you got to. I got Turn it. Turn your pussy sideways. Let me I show you something. I was about to do that to save my relationship. That's what I was about to do. <laughs> nah, the ring should keep it. Well, tell us. What happened? You turn them so sideways. So we eat it like this, right? The V, but our lips don't match. And really, we should be matching our lips with the shape of the vagina because it should be like making But what the out. leg is in the way. Well, also, you, my nose is big. That shit gonna got, fucking hit her knee. You should be using your nose in the pussy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You've never had anybody put their nose in the pussy. I don't want to hurt her. I'm saying, you don't get this nose. I don't You don't get this nose. What are you going to go do? No, I, this is ridiculous that I knew what you were about to say. Nah, you turn your head so that your lips match the pussy and it feels better. I hate this motherfucker so much because he's just visualizing it right now. Because all I thought was, my mind said nine inch nails, nine inch nose. I don't know why, I don't know why the fuck my mind was thinking Yo, that shit. You have, a, you have a nose that matches your last name. Everybody thinks you're Jewish and you got a fucking schnoz like that. I know, it's so bad, bro. Oh my God. It's just, just be in there. In the pussy while your mouth's on the clit. I'm telling you, just you'll kill it. stab it. But also remember, when you turn your mouth, you reach new nerves on the clit that you right. can't feel when you're doing it like this. So I should tilt my head? Yes. Really? I'm nah. telling you. I don't yo. know, man. Yeah, that shit is. Know, that shit feel like it'll hurt. When I said that shit, that here, feels like it will hurt. Just tilting your head. Yeah, like yeah. this. Why you doing that? God forbid y'all lay, in, lay it on her God thigh. God forbid you inconvenience her yourself. Thigh. Do you nah, know how hard that. sucking dick is? I have to right. breathe through my nose. I'm already that got asthma. Hard. It's ridiculous. Then I got to get up, act like I'm trying to talk nasty so I can breathe, Ooh. just to go back down. That's a lot. My tonsils be in the way. Good. Well, it's supposed to hit that dangly, little dangly thing in the back of your throat. Yeah. Yeah. Blame Cardi for making guys feel like we have to do that. Yeah, that's also true. I, I said he that's had to Cardi's stop. Fault. It fucked up my vocal cords. Sucking dick? Yeah. Oh, that's it. We why do you yeah. girls, a doctor on minute, who why says do you girls can... love sucking dick so much is the only thing that y'all love? Because you get to like what really is that a dude. That is a wall. <laughs> no. <laughs> why why, why is it? Why is it? Well, yeah, why is that? It's just like <laughs> you need that so badly that you would die without sucking dick. There's a lot of girls that don't feel that way. A lot of girls I don't, don't like know it. any of them. You don't know any of them? I love women. I, who, I, love, I love that my wife is enthused. About fellatio? About head. Yeah. Yes. I mean, nobody wants it to feel like a job, even though it is a it job. It is a job. But it's not a job. Yeah, it's a blow. Suck your dick tonight. Like, that's not fun. Nah. I don't like when men do that to me. Like, you like know what the, I mean? Like, they like, got to eat pussy. Like, that's ridiculous. I like, like to hear fuck it. my mouth. Wow. Ooh. I say stuff like that. Look, can you I not, say stuff like I that. Say stuff like that. <laughs> That's, but I that's also say scary, boo-ho. dude. I mean, no, but like that's scary. It's you crazy can't fuck. Too, a, though, you man. can't fuck a girl's mouth. You could hurt her if you fuck her mouth. Oh yeah, I couldn't talk. I was talking. Mandy, this. tell him what you told your man about fucking you in the ass. No. Mandy goes, so Mandy been talking all this shit for you years know, you know on like our about show. Weezy? Mandy, tell him. No. Okay, well, I'll do it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I gave you a chance. <laughs> so Mandy's been saying booty hole on our show for years. And I'm like, yo, is that like some ghetto shit you said on Horrible Decision to be funny? I'm like, what do you really say? And she goes, I tell him, you can put it back there. It's it's open for you. I do. I tell Damn. him that when he can have can anal sex. Imagine if someone told you to fuck him in the ass. You you can put it back there. It's open. And now Damn. and now I'm like such a mature woman. Like he 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 mounted my TV, my fireplace, and I was like, oh, I gotta suck his dick extra hard. Tonight. And also like, he can put it back there. But, but doing oh. chores? It's not a chore. Like we don't live together. And yeah. he came and made sure I was gonna have my super do it. He was like, no, like I can do it. He could and do he it because very- he's a task rabbit for a living, nope. so that's what he's doing <laughs> anyway. He does yeah, not work for task rabbit. <laughs> Who is this guy Don't that got that. so much energy? And tell him past the goddamn plug. And, and yeah, he yeah, hates TVs. He's, he's great. He's a handyman. He's fucking you five and six times a day. <laughs> he's a great guy. And he's, and he's a great work? guy. I don't know. I'm, I'm still waiting. And he's financially sound. He is. 
Wow. Who Kudos you? to you, bro. <laughs> Who are you fucking? That's amazing. 50 years old. Close. Congratulations. More or less. Less. 48. 49. One down. 47. Mm -hmm. 47. Why? That's not 50. That's disrespectful to say that. That's crazy. <laughs> what? It's over 45. I mean, if you're rounding it up, it's you, 50. You round? Actually, if you're rounding it up, uh, nope. Yeah. I guess. I Who does know. your numbers? I, was, I don't know, guys. <laughs> yeah, you not, burned not out. you. Guys, I'm tired. Come on. <laughs> let's, get, let's get into some positively brilliant and what a fucking yes. idiot. Yes. Where are the topics at, Taylor? Oh, we got to switch the Taylor, screen. There you go, Alex. <laughs> Big, big pimping Alex. Alex oh. out here with fur coats and studios and shit. Yeah. Yo, check, you guys got to check out WTF Media Studios. Alex and Wheezy start their own podcasting Yay. studio right yeah. down in Soho, New York. All right. That's Stop. positively right. brilliant. That is positively brilliant. Stop letting these other studios fuck up your audio, lose your audio. They don't even have anybody to do video. You guys got to go to a podcast studio that's run by podcasters. They know exactly what the fuck Alex is going on. Alex taught me how to press save. We got two backups. I I was, <laughs> listen, you tell me if I'm wrong. Uh -huh. Why is Wheezy necessary in this business? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I have a, I have I a, I say. have a thought. <laughs> I saw them promoting it as a black owned business. Alex always claims Puerto Rican. No, so why? No, 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 if no, you and Taylor do it. I'm just saying this. It's 100 percent one black person. <laughs> true, I'm true. Two. Why do you let him say you like this, dog? I'm saying you. you right there. No. <laughs> so he does this to me always. You are supposed to be the one who come around the corner and get so, it there. So you He's Obama so busy doing audio fucking video. Or Man. some shit. Like Weezy's this. Obama. <laughs> Weezy's biracial, right? <laughs> Weezy's my father, biracial. My father is Sephardic Jew. Yeah, he says really. He's what? He's a Sephardic Jew, which means he ain't okay, that okay, white okay. of a Jew. That's her way of saying he's Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> like, is it, she's white. I'm no, saying, the Sephardic ones are the darker Jews. Stop it. Stop it. I hate it. With, this is this, this how I know you're white. When, this is what white people do. They find out how they're a little bit not white. That's the most white <laughs> shit to do. Thing. That's he, what Armenians, like the Kardashians be doing. All, all white uh, people do that. You can be um, uh, in reach, uh, what, what is it? Eritrean. Eritrean. Eritrean Jew. Nah, nah. They African Jewish Nah, but she's it's I'm not. He's white. He's white. Good. Sephardic Jews and there's Ashkenazi Jews. Ashkenazi and Jews. And Mizrahi Jews. And what? Mizrahi Jews. I don't know the Mizrahi okay, ones. Okay, go ahead. I don't know, but they don't count. There's two <laughs> of the ones that count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Ashkenazi ones are like the Russian looking ones. And then the Sephardic ones are the ones that are like they still more just look tan white. looking, <laughs> but they white. But they're more tan. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The Arabic. They're supposed to be Arabic. So what are you, Easy? She white, bro. I'm black. What she's the fuck? white. She's white. Bro. Let me she's tell you. She's 100% white. I did my little she's swap. A, that's a and white. When girl. I came out 68% African, my dad was like, "What?" But so your mom's black. My mother's black. Okay, okay. And my father's Israeli. Um, it's a white owned business, bro. <laughs> this is a white owned business, bro. And, uh, it's a white owned business. To answer your question, Afro Latino, right? Yeah. He's half black. No, Alex's mom is mad Puerto Rican. I thought he was yeah. bullshitting until half Puerto Rican. Okay, your dad's black. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah. Your mom black, is black. black. She's exactly. black Puerto Rican. Though. Black. She, she's a black. You're only woman. black yeah. if your dad's black. Everybody yeah. knows that. Yeah. That's what I said. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> knows <laughs> that. That's a fact. I came out of That's black pussy. Fact. I know who my mama Alex is. Dan. I know I'm a black woman. Y'all can kiss my black ass. She's both. Don't even play. Also, with me. we don't know if you came out pussy. Maybe you got C-section. Then you're not even close to black. Alex is definitely black though. Alex yeah. is His real dad black. heard ice cream back in the day, wanted him yep. a butter pecan Rican, got yep. one. Oh my. Alex was born. Facts. Right? <laughs> Yo, <what>? That's true. <laughs> I mean, that's butter true. Yeah, that is 100% Rican. fact. So together, yeah. it's a black owned business. Yeah. And I would say that your that's mom good. is Afro Latina. His mom yes, is she black. Is. She yes. Is. She's not as light as like a J -Lo. J Lo or like one mm. of these white Puerto Ricans. She's Alex's color. But she's Alex. You should do her complexion. Maybe a little lighter than you. A little lighter. Yeah. A little lighter than you. Yeah. But Afro Latina. Yeah. You're black. Let's go. I mean, you You're, present as a black man. I you do. present as a yeah, black yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. honky over here yeah. is, <laughs> is, is culturally appropriating. We got a whole honky on the show. <laughs> She's out here honking it oh, up. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, 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 stick up for your goddamn self. <laughs> At least I'm not black girls. Hold on, oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, so you're going to tell me that? Oh, shit. 
Now we, come on, yo. It's going down. I was waiting for you to say something, friend, but fuck you now. Yeah. 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 That's funny take as fuck. Take that, Alex. Yeah. Take that. <laughs> now I'm on Weezy's side. Alex, take that. <laughs> Divide and conquer. Come back. For a woman to tell a black person, an Afro-Latina person, at least I fuck black girls. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. And, yeah. and Alex don't got no comeback. Alex Zero. got <laughs> gen- Zero. Whoa. Whoa. He quiet. He got generations yo, of I'm men not fucking black women. Uh, nah. I'm just like my dad. You never had sex with a black girl? Yes, of course I had. What, how many? My ex was black. Yo, yo, yo. Now we asking numbers, moment. Taylor? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now What's we asking up? numbers, Taylor? Oh, What's up, Taylor? Did we cut that out of last episode? <laughs> <laughs> Did we cut that out? Didn't we? Huh? I mean, I fuck with black people. Yo, what does that mean? Put on the microphone. I mean, she's that, buying that, 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 no, that, that was her trying to call back to a joke, and it just didn't it, land. It didn't like, land. Nah, that didn't, shit bombs. That shit <laughs> oh, yo, it's been one. It's been two this hours, y'all. This crazy. <laughs> this guy talking crazy. I'm just Alex. saying. You lost that Alex, just in case. <laughs> Wait, you're not ashamed of your dad, though, right? No. Yeah, you should. My father's be. a great man. I just the older I get, the more I understand who I am viewed as in the world, especially being in corporate America. Mm-hmm. Like, it's black girl shit all the time, and and I know now a lot of things that I couldn't at that point in time. Not having a white father or being in certain spaces and understanding that I could navigate in those spaces because he was white, mm-hmm. right? So now that I'm older and that's not in my life, I, I really see the world for what it is. And I watched some Shaka Zulu. I woke up. And the interesting <laughs> thing about that, though, is like you don't present as a white woman. So it's not like if you got pulled over by the police, you could say, my dad is white. They wouldn't you, give a fuck. That never right. worked. But I yeah. know there's some light-skinned shit, and that's why I've gotten ahead in a lot of things. And that's why I feel like it's my right and my duty to always put black people on because... It wouldn't be fair otherwise. Like with this studio, we constantly talk about that. You know, how are we going to make sure that we're doing black people right? How are we going to make sure we're hiring black? Like, I don't want to just <clears throat> talk about the shit. I want to be about it. Everybody, yeah. even down to the people we hired to build the shit. Maybe that's why a lot of this shit started late. We should have been. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. That's. Yeah. That's. That's. Is that, is that fair to say in that situation? Let me you can start calling Weezy a cracker. Still, I'm she, just saying, she is one cracker ass cracker, though. I, that is a fact, bro. About when, it comes to she money, money, bro. when it comes to money, the Jewish comes out. Gila is not playing, but Weezy, I'm just front saying. face, she's there. But when we talk about the check, absolutely not. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. <laughs> what right. what right. did we see that was, oh, positively brilliant? Um, yeah. Uh, uh, Jasmine Sullivan performing at the Super Bowl. I think that's amazing since we have horrible decisions here. Have y'all heard Hotels? Duh. I think it's about us. I think it's a classic album. I think it's an instant classic. It's really, really good. I'm excited too. I, I think that she's warranted the space to have a, a a project like this after stuff like the Me Too movement, what yeah. we have with Horrible Decisions, um, the slut walk that Amber yeah. Rose did. I mean, I don't think, sh- I, I really still wanted her to bust windows out of niggas' cars, but th- I loved it. Yeah. It was a great, great project. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, She's the Super Bowl She's singing the national or? anthem. National oh, anthem. She can sing, though. Jasmine is amazing. I don't like, even know who she is. Wait, uh, what? When you I get don't. home, I was oh my that, god, I have no clue. She when is. you get home and I'm you turn the your you bro, when you turn, when you turn your wife, cracker. when you turn I'm your fiance streets, sideways yeah. this weekend, I put on the put Jasmine on Sullivan hotels. Really, bro. lip to lip. <laughs> yes. I guarantee Go you. To lip. No, yes. if you would have gave your girlfriend one more week, you would have been hearing Jasmine Sullivan. Really? Play. Yes, because she would have bust the windows out your. Shit. Oh, is that her? I bust <laughs> the windows out that's your her. car. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, 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 yeah. that's the nice thing about not having a car. <laughs> 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 you gotta bust the windows out this subway. Oh my goodness! <laughs> no, I like women having those type of conversations though, because if you are a fly on the wall and you just sit back and listen, you'll learn so much. Mm. I also you know said what I, mean? what I liked about that album is. Each song is from a different perspective of yes. a hoe. Yes. Like she talked about getting money from from men. Then she talked about somehow I didn't know we could be hoes dating broke men. Oh, that? But she talked about that one. I said I will never give you money, <laughs> and you live with your mom and all. She went in, but, but I, that's I really like though. It. That's the difference. Don't say that because you maybe haven't been digmatized in that way. Like I've been fucked so good. I've been like I'm gonna Uber you home, and you Uber. Oh nigga. yeah, I've Ubered a nigga. Before. Like you know what I'm saying? I be trying but to feed niggas to get fucked. It's crazy. Hold on. So Uber, Uber. When somebody calls you an Uber, <laughs> that mean you put down a good dick. I just thought they wanted you to leave. 
Well, that too, yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this well, is me saying thank you. But I got a complex about, like, I really love to sun men. And, like, I do. Like, I love picking up a check when a date is wagging. Oh, yeah. Like, like she you. would pay for dick, though. Like, we used to talk about it. She yeah. would pay for dick. I didn't, I've never paid for dick, but I've, I've said, like, I would hire, like, an escort. And fucking men in their ass, not enough. You got to no. fucking pay for their meals to the sun them. What's, oh, the, doing what's that. the opposite of misog- misandrony? You guys are some misandrinists, <laughs> what? Joe. A little bit. You guys hate men. No, no, absolutely not. No. Yeah. I do feel that. a lot I do feel like a lot of y'all y'all love for men is rooted in pain though. Like why yeah. do y'all like to hurt men so why much? Why y'all wanna hurt us yet? I don't wanna cause men, men pain, hating. but I, I think sometimes I do that to combat them myself from being hurt. If I run shit, oh, I won't yeah. be the one who's heartbroken. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's no way to approach life though. You don't walk in a room and think about everybody hurting you. I mean, I mean, I, I, I mean, you do. But that's anxiety. Yeah. That's PTSD. But I, that's I think trauma. maybe that wall up. I mean, I try not to live that mm-hmm. way, but I see a lot of the things that I do with men is to keep myself from getting hurt. Whether it wow. be like not particularly now because I'm 100%. in healthier relationships, but I would even say when I, the last time I was on Brilliant, like I would want someone to leave my house instead of sleeping over because I was scared of the emotional attachment. Now I'm able to navigate through those feelings, you know, with maturation. But in the beginning, hell yeah. Like, I didn't know what to do. I wouldn't even want to go on dates if I thought it was someone who wouldn't want to stick around. I'd be like, I don't want to like him too much. Oh, you but, were scared of getting hurt. Yeah. Yeah, that maybe, that makes sense. You still fucking and big I, homie? Who? The big dude. The big dude? dude that's like, like, which one? Six, seven. <laughs> oh, him? Yeah. yeah. Uh, nah, we're... From- Yo! <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Yo! Yo, what? <laughs> that was a secret. I didn't know that was a secret. <laughs> We all how kept that as a secret we, in a bad what way. Mean, how did I know? I've always hanging y'all out everywhere. Oh, okay. Oh. Now nah, we we don't date anymore, but I mean we're, oh. we're friends. I even saw him one night. He, I was in L.A. and he um oh he God. came in a restaurant that I was in. <laughs> okay. And I was I, did, I thought of you immediately. I I really did. I thought y'all was gonna walk in together. <laughs> I'm being you guys honest. Spent a lot of time together we did he was oh we that's right we went out with you hung yeah out. yeah, hung yeah. Out, honestly we had great a great relationship but i think it just couldn't get that deeply romantic because we started as friends and it mm. kind of stayed friendly like we, oh so you can't fuck a friend no i'm not saying that but i think you can't grow romantically or deeper i think you can't get that deep if you're too friendly i think we really? were really i was like, I disagree yeah, to me if too. the dick is good you want more so i no, don't know I, i'm just trying to say like i want deeper spiritual connections deeper i wanted real romance and i think him and i were just so homey homeboy we just had great sex that like we couldn't understand how to navigate it deeper like so, we just had great sex so how do you break something like that off with a friend with somebody that you're having great sex with like well, how do you break well, something like we that were off? in a throuple a what I had a girlfriend. Oh, yeah. She had a whole girlfriend. And, a, and they had a girlfriend So we had together. a throuple. And Why did Jasmine Sullivan ain't call y'all for hotel skits? Like, God. I know. I, know. I know. I don't know. But, but shout um, out Antoinette. Antoinette's tail. So she and I were dating and him and I were dating. And it was like, let's do this together. And the three of us were great. And when she broke up with us, him and I realized we weren't as great together. Oh, so she was the, the, the glue. It basically. was like a stool. And, you know, they say that about men that are cheating a lot. When the mistress goes, sometimes it ruins the main relationship and it's like everything falls apart. Yeah. But it kind of happened like that. So, I mean, we're all still friends. Oh, that's what, what that's I think is going to happen with the Nets, bro. I think when oh, that Jesus. throuple gets together, when Thrupple. Kyrie gets there, that's what it's called? <laughs> throuple. Throuple. I think when that when Kyrie gets there, bro, I think that's what's going to happen. <laughs> and they're going to realize they better off with just James and um, KD. I really do. No, that's the opposite of the what stool. Do you mean? She's saying the stool can only work if there's three legs. Oh, yes. you're right, you're right, you're right. Never yeah. mind. And when one pulls out, right, okay. it's unbalanced. Got you. Kyrie yeah. pulled out already. I, this is a conversation for y'all. I'm like, basketball, what? <laughs> no, I respect Kyrie, though. I positively brilliant. I, I, I put Kyrie in that. Oh, wow. yeah. Well, he also just bought uh, George Floyd's family uh, that, a house. That I knew about. He's, doing, he's doing a lot off the court. But I want Kyrie to normalize mental health breaks. Mental health breaks should mm. be like sick days. When you are mentally and emotionally overwhelmed, mm-hmm. I should be able to take a day or two off mm-hmm. and come back when I'm recharged. I agree. I, I think he could have normalized that. You can't just disappear and tell mother. Don't tell people why you're not here. I think we're going to see a lot more of that. I don't know if y'all uh, read what they're doing with the NBA. Of course, they're not in a bubble anymore. Mm-hmm. But a lot of them like to get their rocks off on the road. They can't have guests in their hotel rooms anymore. Thank God I'm not a hoe anymore. But they're <laughs> literally not allowed to have guests in the hotel with them anymore. They're not allowed when they're home. Uh, they can only go to and from the gym. And they have to let their teams know when they're doing anything else. So, like, it's a lot. They You just had them in a bubble a couple months ago. The season restarts quicker than normal they don't get the break they're used to having and then you throw them in with all of these covid regulations and then every week there's games that but are also that being canceled good? because you used to say that when you were dating like ball players that they wouldn't have sex with you before a game 
before the game, but they flew in the city the night before. So, oh, we so fucked the, the yeah, we before. fucked the night before. But Just what, the day of the game. Fuck, Mandy? What? We uh-huh. ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> football, basketball, baseball. Oh, basketball. All oh, basketball. Yeah, no, baseball players. Baseball no, players don't speak English, and football players they don't speak they, English. They hit it even I mean, in NFL players, their money is not for long. Yeah. So I just go where you ever fuck anybody guaranteed. with a ring. What happened? You ever fuck anybody with a ring? A lot. Like so a marriage ring? Whose shoes y'all may wear. Or yeah, like a championship we, you know, ring. How many shoes do we wear? No. <laughs> no, Timberlands, don't do this. No. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what those are, Andrew. Really? That's what? that one oh. North Face. <laughs> you never seen these before? These are Uggs for white men. Isn't oh, this bro. for the house? Right. That's Uggs, fucking bro. Air Melania's, bro. That's only for that's only for, that's only for top ten members of MAGA that get those, bro. <laughs> yo, did you see Trump yesterday? Trump said, "Melania, Melania, top come up here." Listen, Trump said, "Melania, Melania, come up here and say the few words you know." <laughs> no, he didn't. 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 No, he knows did. that bitch is divorcing him. Get it, boy. Get it. Donald Trump is a yeah. very good president for everybody. Hey, baby, come here, stumble through this speech for a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's over it. Apparently, she's not even giving um, Mrs. Biden the tour. She don't, she, she don't know what she's doing. What's she gonna do? Where she? What does she know, bitch? Yeah, she don't you know right. what she, she must need. She need a tour. This is where we. <laughs> they were vice president. He knows what it looks like. <laughs> right, he was he, the tour. <laughs> this is the room they used you to be in all the time. You remember that? <laughs> you right. He did used to be in there. You all right. this shit is so dumb. Even this inauguration shit in. is so dumb. Why are you gonna put this two thousand year old man outside oh in fucking January? Now we'll say freezing. I thought it was dumb to do the inauguration if you thought it was that much of a threat. I, you know what I mean, no threat, if they're getting bro. all of these threats and they feel like it's going to be such violence, like why even risk that shit? It should have been virtual. Like, I think they meant violence as far as like people bro, in the streets and parades. I'm and shit, telling you, right? all the homies that, that stormed the Capitol, they basically, they were the telling homies. me, they're like, yo, we got <laughs> it out of our system. You know what I mean? They texted me, homies. bro. They're like, we got it out of our system. We're good. <laughs> we got our selfies and shit. Nobody tried nothing today? Say what? Yo, no. they're pussy, the, the bro. The ain't over. They are pussy, bro. What's up with this? You are no, you listen, inciting the violence. No right stochastic now? terror. Don't do no stochastic terror. I'm not. I'm not. I don't even know what that means, bro. I'm stochastic, terror. stochastic terror. Stochastic terror. Stochastic terror is when you say like you keep saying something, but you act like you don't mean it. So you be like. You know, I mean, cookies are dope. I really, you know, cookies are dope. I like cookies, but I don't want no cookies. But if someone was to bring some cookies, then who Boom. would have it? Wait, but that's you, called stochastic terror. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's in the ball. This man got audio from the What's this? What's this called? What's this called? Y'all pussies ain't gonna do shit at the inauguration. Pussies. It's twelve fifty six. What's that called? What we type of terror is that shit? Inciting. That's inciting. That's inciting. But I'm saying they're pussy. Inciting the pussies to act like they not pussy. Oh fuck! Yeah, My yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, that yeah, is yeah. inciting. All right, all right. Y'all are pussies, and <laughs> that's fine. Did you see the guy making a video to Trump? Like, pardon us, man. You told us to come out here. What the fuck? Oh, it's a rap. Oh, yeah. oh no, 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 no. It's a rap for y'all. Y'all gotta face the judge now. Y'all should have got in on that train earlier. Mm. Y'all, y'all yeah, should... like like Little Wayne. Yes. And out there. I'm not mad at Wayne. <laughs> Wait, you're not mad at him? No, I don't. Ju- I don't judge people for what they do when they're just trying to survive. Mm. Okay. You know what I mean? Because I think that it's very easy to say what you wouldn't do in that situation. But Lil Wayne is a multimillionaire. He's got five kids. He's been in jail before. He's facing 10 years. This is his second gun charge. Like, come on. Okay. By the way, he didn't do anything criminal. Yeah. No, it wasn't criminal. He didn't do anything. He did something you don't like. Um, I'll be what honest with you. What I don't think we need, need to judge, we don't need to judge him for Trump. We need right. to judge him from the Black Lives Matter. Like, I don't have issues like that. I cannot stand when black well, people. Well, white don't, people keep bailing his ass out. It, it just what do you mean? Trump just got him out of jail. Oh, right, right, right. I'm the saying the other white man saved his life. I mean, if I'm wheezy, I'm like, yo, these white people kind of lit. He, he, when <laughs> Every he time that, I fucked up, they just come to my his, rescue. But that was his mentality. He said that. His reasoning was when he does his shows and he looks in the crowd, it's mad white people coming to see him. You know what I'm saying? Well, how much yeah. are his tickets? Say what? I'm sure we've see, we would see the same about like J. Cole or Kendrick Every Lamar. rapper. You're going to tell me that like... These white people that are paying is 350, 400, 500. Like, come on. I'm not mad at the way he sees the world. I don't agree with it. I don't think it's realistic, but that's his ex- that's his experience. Yo, what's what Kodak? I mean? What's Kodak's experience? Kodak's smart too. Listen, I'm all these guys out. did what they're supposed to do. You work with the person who's in power to get something done. Yeah. Kodak petitioned to get released by the president of the United States of America to get a pardon, and it fucking worked. <laughs> like, I don't Do you guys believe that, that they that he sold those pardons like people are saying? Yeah, he probably did. 
Wouldn't you? Yeah, get your money, yo. Let's go. Like, <laughs> now that I think about I it, how, like, how, much, how much did Kodak pay? Like, how really that if we work for airlines, we gonna sell the buddy pass. That's what I'm like, saying. You go, yeah, if you got that's it, a great if ass you point. got it, you know what I mean? I, I got heard somebody offered Rudy Giuliani $2 million for a pardon. That's, That's 140 true. pardons, bro. At $2 million a pop, you I do the math. I have people offering nah, money for I'll my clubhouse that. invite. Same. So, like, fuck it. They yeah, said the Tiger, Tiger King man. dude was kind of pissed that he didn't pardon him. He's an idiot. He's Who? an idiot. The Tiger King dude. Only because he counted he he, he counted his fucking chickens before they hatched. He was celebrating mm. a little too soon. He mm. got the limo. Got the limo, him. hair and makeup, mental no, he, health special. What yeah. do you mean, hair and makeup? He had hair and makeup. The guy did a whole they did a whole interview saying, yeah, the hair and makeup is the most important thing for tomorrow with Joe Exotic, like. Nah, bro, bro. That was one of the best Netflix, besides yours, friend, yeah. <laughs> features I've ever seen. I mean, when the Walmart manager said he had experience to run that campaign, I was like, this is American <laughs> TV, bro. I never watched it. <laughs> never watched it. You never good. watched Tiger King? Never watched it. Was Tiger actually, oh, it was actually incredible. Did, what made you not attracted to that? That there everybody was, was fucking with it. Gays, oh, God. Death, suicide. That's it that. was people was getting some wild arms shit. ripped off. He was a wild boy, bro. Flipping straights. What you mean flipping straights? He was flipping straights, bro. He's gay? Not nah, yeah, yeah, he's super oh, yeah, gay. He was gay. in a throuple. He was gay in the South, flipping straights. I thought he was fucking tigers. Nah. No. Maybe. Maybe. No. Fucking, no. fucking these uh, white boys, bro. So why you want to get out of jail? For, for, for room and board. No, why does he want to get out of jail then? <laughs> I can't Matt. have tigers in jail, bro. <laughs> so that's the throuple. That's the throuple. You need the tiger. The you tiger is what balances one it One of his employees' <laughs> arms got ripped off, and the first thing he and said the other is, one had, oh, I'll never financially recover from this. <laughs> I was like, yeah. God forbid the bitch got blood squirting out of him. He was perfect. So why is, he in, why is he in prison again? Because he tried to for kill the endangerment and oh, I think for killing tigers. No, oh, he, he tried trying to, to kill, kill Carol, Carol Baskin. Baskin. Oh, he hired someone to kill this other woman. A competitor of his. Yeah. What another woman? What was the competitor? It wasn't even they a competitor. She was a farms. hater, bro. Like <laughs> she just doesn't like people to own tigers and like breed them. But she owns even them, though she has she, she has them. a tiger yeah. sanctuary, but they're still caged. It's just a large. She's cage. wild, bro. She killed her husband, fed him to the tigers. Yo, can you no watch way to prove shit, it. Please? This no, shit is so fire. Bro. Clearly, it's not worth me watching if he didn't get a pardon. If the show slapped like that, he'd be out. <laughs> Clearly, Season Donald two. Trump fucks with a milli, bro. Season two. Clearly, Trump fucks with Kodak Black. Clearly. The Tiger King? Nah. Yo, they got a man on there with no legs, and he says, I bet you think I, you know, that these are gone from something, but no. Nope. I, I was in a car accident. Car I'm like, accident, nah. bro. It was unbelievable. The yeah. show is incredible. It was, it, was, it, was, it was really good. You know, I want, I want to go back to something Weezy said about the NBA players. You got to let people have their vices. Oh, see, you see, you just did what you do on The Breakfast Club. What I do? Mandy, not Weezy. What I said? Weezy. Weezy. I meant to say, no, I said Mandy, yo. Y'all talking crazy, yo. I said Mandy, yo. I said Mandy, yo. You do this all the time. Just be honest, bro. You talking crazy. I said Mandy. I didn't even notice he said it. I said Mandy, yo. I think you said Weezy, but it's easy to mix up you having Weezy and you having Mandy. Yo, I said Mandy, yo. 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 I I don't know about the cadaver. We not going to. <laughs> Y'all definitely got the apple though. We not going to do that. We not going to do that. Charlamagne just said to me this morning that the black effect is 100 percent black. Yo, son, you gotta kick them off the black effect, bro. And you got my numbers. We got 100 percent black creators. I didn't bro, know. They're taking the spot of a black creator right there, <laughs> dude. Shut shut up, up, you got fucked up, up, son. You see how white people do? You know, what I mean? you see how white people just sneak in. Have you ever done an ancestry test, Mandy? No, I'm. There, no. She's scared, bro. She's about to so find out she's 68. white. Right? You said Yo, y'all are black. white. Yo, you yeah. shut the yeah. fuck up. <laughs> I need Mandy to be at least 40. If she's at least over 40% African, we still in I'm business. I'm for sure over 40%. <laughs> nah, nah, Yeah, nah. you gotta be. You for gotta sure. be. You're my good. Da my dad's Jamaican. No. I can smell the crack on you. My dad's darker than you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dad, my dad is now, darker now, than you. Now, according to people like Ados, they would say you're not black, though. They say that Caribbean black people are not black, which I think is ridiculous. Mandy, daddy black. Say. Yeah. No, there's no. He might got an accident, but that motherfucker black. Wait, wait. They say what? They say Caribbean, if you're from the Caribbean, you're not an uh, African descendant African. of slaves. How? There That's was mass true. slave There trade. were slaves in the Caribbean. I know that. Jamaica is where is they, they I think Jamaica is where they sent the slaves that were fucking shit up too much here. I'm not sure, but I just know that the African diaspora had slaves all throughout it. Yeah. It's diaspora. also diaspora, but the it's da all good. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, like, I never understand I don't understand that logic. They say that about Kamala. Oh, Kamala's not black. 
you know, because she's Jamaican, which makes I, no she's sense not African American. She's not African American. Now, that, now That's there's it. a difference with yes. that. The yes. history in the African American. The history in the Caribbean is way different. The white than ass. What? Shut the fuck up. You white are African American. Was you born here? I was born here. Yeah. yeah. So what's your first generation? Nah, she's Caribbean American. She's not she? African American. Yeah. Look at us, really. You're white, bro. Yo, you, you are white. <laughs> you both white. You cracker Yo, ass. Can you crackers. Google this? <laughs> Jeez, you don't you know gotta say up. the whole thing. Just cracker, <laughs> cracker, cracker ass. That's it. Get your cracker ass. You add another cracker. That's 100. percent That's what you are. I'm a cracker ass. But cracker. y'all present as black though. Facts. So being that y'all present as black, y'all get the not black experience. Not in like the racial dollars all way, but actually, she yeah, don't present not as black. in the racial dollars all way. Andrew saw her in person. Andrew said she was white as shit. Really? Where'd you see her? Airport. Wait, so she didn't even look mixed? Nah, she looked. She got a braid in salon at her bro. house, bro. She had the braids and everything like that, but I saw her at the airport, man. Cracker ass. <laughs> <laughs> Not this year, bro. But no, you have to have. I you have to let people have their vices. Like you're a yeah. comedian, okay. right? Yeah. There's things that you need before you do a show. When y'all do y'all live shows, there's things bottle that you need. Bottle of Tito's. Things you have to do. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, Mandy got, got a bottle of Tito's. I take she shit takes before tea. the She takes show. tea and Red I have Bull. tea and I take a shit and then I can get on stage. But see, that's the vice. But back in the 80s, 90s, guys used to smoke cigarettes. I read something yesterday that said Manu Bowl was literally drunk for every single game he ever played in his life. Wow. Wow. People have vices. They What's yours get before the breakfast club? Um, Prayer. I read my daily affirmations. Those I do my meditation. Those are not vices, right? Are no, are well, maybe they're like a like a ritual. Well, I mean, I do my. I gotta have. Uh, I used to have my protein shake every day, but Taylor was trying to be funny for a whole week, and she knows I can't handle um, uh, whole milk. I need almond milk. She got me whole milk Did for at least three days straight. She was doing that shit on purpose. Let's purpose, go, and she was, Taylor. Yo, she was, yo. Let's I can't go. You know my what, vows. Taylor? No, I'll, you know what? That's that's actually not bad because protein shakes. Maybe you were trying to lose some weight. You were gonna shit it all out with. Thanks, Taylor. Nah, you that did shit a good give me job. bumps and shit, man. Taylor, no. okay. Purpose, I like oatmeal, man. but I like oatmeal too. But that's my like green tea. Like I have small vices. You should see Mandy can, and can I, I before the, a show. Can I get I the mean, definition of a vice? Because I thought a vice was something that technically it's isn't bad. good that yeah. you do. It. He's it's just bad. using every word is, possible. A vice isn't wrong. bad. Can I get the definition? Uh, the definition of vice. Oh, oh, a vice is bad. It's about to come out. Vice land. These is a marrow. Absolutely. And now we're dead. Vice. Sorry, they dropped that ball. Em- oh, oh shit! Immoral, yeah, that's immoral, immoral thank, you, thank you, thank you. Criminal okay, activities there we go. involving there we go. prostitution. It's wicked behavior. Yeah, it's supposed okay. to be something well, that you do that's is, not good. Is a vice thing. So yeah, why do people call shit? Why do people call shit vices? Because it's, it's that. Your thing. Because because it's your thing that you do that technically is not something that you yeah. should be doing, but you enjoy doing oh. it. Like whenever I want to send someone a bottle of alcohol, I'm like, "What's your vice?" And they'll tell me. Yeah, uh, it's always bad things. So nobody's vice know. is yoga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or affirmations. <laughs> <Is there> prayer <laughs> and affirmation. What if you're trying to suck your own dick while you're doing yoga? Oh Jesus Christ! Come on now. Look that up on Pornhub. No, that it's a might thing. be a vice. That's a, a vice. Gr- it's an awesome that is video. a vice, but that's more of the sucking the dick, not the yoga. Dominic Santos, by the way, is his name. Yo, we Who just. Talked about sucking your own dick. He sucks yeah. his own dick. Really? Yeah. yeah. Pull he got it up. No ribs? No. <laughs> no, seriously. It's, a, it's an amazing thing to watch. <laughs> it's like gymnastics, Yo, dog. We knew a guy that could do it. But Alex, he's Latino. We saw a guy that could do it. <laughs> you guys remember when we were filming? We were filming not guy code, but like remember when we were Gay Code? Gay Code. <laughs> <laughs> what was we filming where a guy was trying no, to it was like that. It was like guy code, but we were all sitting on a at a desk. Remember that shit? Guy Court? No, we were at a desk and we were like... At a desk? I don't, it was part of Guy Code, but there would be four of us at a desk. It was different groups of four. Oh, when, when they was doing like the Guy Code panel shit. Panel, exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. Uh, Matt Broussard, funny comic, was like, yeah, I could suck my own dick. And then we, we made him... We didn't make him. We asked him. We were like, yo, could you show us how you would do it? We didn't make him. Can you meet too yourself? Shout out to Michael. But, uh, and he bent over and he fucking showed us where he could do it. He bent over and showed us what that mouth did. He do. really did show us what that mouth did. You don't do, remember? Bro. No, I don't know. Nah, you this. remember this. You were the one that said do it. No, <laughs> no, no, no. That was not me. You Maybe did. It wasn't his mind. You were like, yo, pucker up. I don't remember. You said that shit to him. You were like, you were like yo, pucker up, he bro. He sucked it? Nah, he just put his face where his genitals would be on his jeans. Get the fuck out And then out we asked him, we were like, yo, like, what is it like? And he goes, uh, it feels a lot more like sucking a dick than getting a dick sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I could see that. I could see that. It's a lot of jaw. It's, yeah, it it's like you think it would feel good, but it really just feels like sucking dick. Wow. Yeah, bro. But you would have to know how sucking dick feels. Well, yeah, because he's sucking a dick. So he sucked dick before his own dick. Oh, so that's something he did on the regular. 
I well, I imagine he did it once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, I don't yeah, even yeah, know yeah. if he did it. Right. You just put it. I maybe just put that in his mouth. <laughs> I put those words in his mouth. Do you tell not yourself the not to come in my about. face? Say what? Can you do you tell your own self not to come in my face? Yeah, you gotta pull out, just bust in the air, <laughs> yeah, catch yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what's weird? People think yeah, like, yeah, eating yeah, your own cum is y'all super gay. That, bro? That. Like like cracker jacks or whatever that shit is. Oh my god. Yo, give me the ass, bro. Yeah, what please, the fuck is the ass? Please. <laughs> Pull up the ass Come right on, now, bro. please. You never bust in the air and caught it? Jesus Y'all Christ. Y'all suck. Why would I catch my own cum? Yo, you're going to have to catch it anyway. Nah, you bro. You have to wipe it off your stomach or you could just catch it in midair. Wipe that shit off like a man, bro. Don't catch it in midair. Nah. Has it ever gotten on your chin or something? Like flew on your face and actually? Yeah, I got hit. Plus half that's too many. Um... I, got, I got face shot. Face shot of myself. <laughs> that's, that's too many. Uh... Scarred me, dude. <laughs> that's too fucking. Uh, that's too much work. Yeah, it's work, bro. Jacking off and catching your cum? I wish we like. I wish I had ejaculated like Me that. Me too. Ejaculate. Ejaculate. Shout out to curb your enthusiasm. Isn't that what squirting is? Yeah, yeah but, but it's I the different it angle now. because your your urethra is not like for your dick. When the cum comes out, it could go towards your face. Damn, man! I want to do the goddamn ads right here. This would be a perfect time to break and do ads. Hold on. But Taylor see. walked out. Taylor, come on, producer. I got it. I got it. I got it. You got Boom. the ads, King. You got All right. the ads. Oh, ready? And let's we go. go. All right, let's stop and pay some bills, man. This episode has been brought to you by Blue Chew. Now, hey, hey, now. we knew horrible decisions were going to be here today. That's <laughs> funny. If you want to get that dick hard so you can go round after round like after my round, man. Like man. just Break like her man. Dick. If you want to fuck a mouth, as they say, <laughs> in the most powerful, beautiful, and consensual of ways, you have to do it with the chew. That is blue chew. And the way that you get this blue chew, by the way, same active ingredient that's inside Cialis, Viagra, all of those wonderful things. Only this is the chew, and this is the one that we use for a great weekend, a great night. Ladies, if your man hasn't used it, you are missing out. Make sure that he gets on the chew himself. Question, Schultz. When you yes, were sir. coming fast for a week, you didn't think of the blue chew? I thought about using it to go round two. Why didn't you pop the blue chew? I didn't use it to go round two because um, you can get pregnant. You can get what? pregnant with round two. Yo, my God. What do you mean? Round two gets Cut you pregnant. Cut this from the ad, yo. He's <laughs> wilding right pregnant? now. Round two gets you pregnant, bro, because there's some left over from round one, and that gets in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking gets you pregnant. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. You crazy. You crazy. And don't get me started on stupid things said on podcasts. We just said the dumbest thing I ever heard on so a podcast ever, ever in my life. Yo, yo. You said some dumb shit. This is the dumbest thing I ever heard in my don't life. Don't let him do this Let to me, me finish right this ad. Guys, Blue Chew. Okay? The Blue Chew, 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 Chew. Oh, you can run a train. You can, try, you can run a train with the Chew. The Chew, Chew, the Blue Chew, Chew train. Look, Blue Chew. Chew.com, okay? Make sure you use the promo code IDIOTS and you're going to get it for free. All you got to do is pay $5 in shipping, all right? Go do that right now and have the weekend of your life. Back to the dumb shit. Hold on, do we upset. got another mid-roll? Hold up now. That we can squeeze in there? Oh, we actually do. Can you hit that cushion here? You're so pressed to call me out about nothing. Well, we still got a, a, another ad, another mid-roll, okay? Uh, listen, 2020 was a rough year and a hard time to keep your head in a good place, but 2021 can be better. You know why they can be better? Because of our friends at Cushy Dreams, all right? They can help. Cushy Dreams specializes in high-quality, smokable CBD, and CBD has been shown to help with anxiety, depression, even pain relief, fighting inflammation, and more. Cushy Dreams. Dreams, extraordinary CBD rich hemp flower comes in an eighth, okay? Eight ounce cans and pre roll joints. It is cannabis that ships discreetly to you directly to all 50 states. They offer specific indigo and sativa strains that deliver desired effects, okay? You can pick whatever mood you want. You can relax, you can create, hustle, peace, energy, or even just dream. Okay, Cushy Dreams has great new flowers that just arrived too. Thanks to a fresh harvest, they have ace of their best indigo, indoor indigos and sativas with their ultra premium line. As always, they have full grand pre-rolls. What's new is five packs of half grand pre-rolls. We know you're sick of carts, vapes, gummies, and we know you want to smoke your CBD. Enjoy all the health benefits of CBD without getting high. It only contains under 0.3% THC, okay? So go to Cushy Dreams, K-U-S-H-Y, at checkout. Use promo code IDIOTS for 20% off your next order. Free shipping on orders over $20. Smoke your CBD with promo code IDIOTS for 20% off today. Cushy Dreams, smoke your CBD. Let's get back to the chef. That's my fault. Oh, my bad. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just throwing your phone. Okay, now... So, you got any church announcements before we continue? Oh, yeah, man. Right. I'm uh, I'm going to hit the road again. Okay. okay. Yeah, starting in March. How's that? 
happened? I'm How is no one else it. able to hit the road and you're hitting the road? So I'm, going, I'm, I'm going to the crazy states, bro. Oh, not comedians. Comedians is out. Comedians the is ones. back out there. Okay. Yeah, you could be out yeah, there. I seen Duval back on the road. Chico yeah. Bean back on the road. Nah, there's, there's, there's plenty. There. There's plenty. Can we places expect some more dropping in? I miss dropping in. Oh yeah, dropping in is coming back. We're gonna do. We're gonna do the whole thing. So that's excited. That's gonna be in March. Okay. Um. So I think. Yeah, we just put it up. I think the show's in Salt Lake City. I think they're sold out. I'm not sure, but yeah, you can yeah, check. But I think they're all sold out by now. But then we're also going to do Columbus the following weekend as well. I think I'll post a flyer for that today. You're gearing up for that new stand-up special. I'm telling you, uh, Andrew Schultz is going to be the biggest stand-up touring comedian. Okay. Okay. I remember, remember, it. remember it was Russell uh, Russell Peters. Moore. Peters. Yeah, yeah, Russell yeah, yeah. Peters. I, I don't know if Russell still is. He was at one point. There though. was a time where he definitely was. He definitely, he yeah. was the guy, like yeah. 30 Global. Plus million dollars globally. Yeah, yeah. That's going. That's going to be. Uh, that's going to be Andrew Schultz for I'll sure. Take it. I can't wait it. to see you doing stand up on TV. Like I've said it. Uh, not even because I'm here. You are one of my favorite people to watch Thank live. You. Seriously. Well, the, the COVID fucked that up. That was supposed yeah. to. Yeah. He had a special with. Oh, I can't say that. Oh, my God. <laughs> wait, you did say it. I thought we, we announced it. You we announced could, it. We could bleep it. I didn't okay, 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 it. okay. My bad, my you bad. You did. Bad. Yeah, because if they don't act right, it might go somewhere else. Hey, 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 hey. That war. That war. Netflix, <laughs> war. Netflix, you really showed your range, but like, I'm ready to watch you just stand and tell jokes. <laughs> I, look, for Netflix, it was a specific thing. It was like, let's tell the truth about some things that happened this year and like really make fun of some people who I thought deserved it. Mm. You know, they were kind of like getting away scot-free and I really wanted to... Just, just roast them, and, yeah, yeah, but yeah, also yeah, yeah. like give people some peace of mind, knowing that like most of us agree on all these issues, and the media is making us feel these horrible ways. And the reality is that we all can kind of agree, regardless, you know, side which side of the aisle you're on. I love stand up because it's just so absurd. Like I try to justify the worst things, but you get in your bag yeah, with him, bro. bro. Like yeah. your, your best yeah. moments are like the ones that we don't know are coming. Bro, bro, those are, those are always fun. For, yeah, those are always fun for people. But I like, I definitely bro, love that. Stand so up cool. is absurd. Stand up <laughs> supposed idea, to be absurd. The idea yeah. of, of one person to think they can go out here with a microphone and make thousands of people laugh at once. Who the fuck do you think? Yo, that makes no yes. sense to me. As I'm walking out to the stage, every time as I'm walking out to the stage, if you notice, like especially I'm doing like theaters and shit, I like kind of walk out slowly because on my way out, I'm like, I don't got no. This songs. shit makes no sense, bro. Like, I'm gonna just talk and y'all not gonna talk, and that's gonna happen for an hour. An like hour. this is crazy. Maybe no, that's why you talk to people because you realize how weird it is. Well, I I love the conversation like even within my my bits like i still want it to be a conversation yeah. i don't want this to be like a a speech you know yeah, i yeah, want yeah, you yeah. to know that i'm listening to you even if you're not saying something yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's you know why you talk mean? back and forth with the crowd a little bit yeah like yeah, I, yeah, to yeah, me yeah. it, it locks me saying. into the into the bit and it makes it real yeah. like there'll be something like there'll be times where i'm like in a bit and i'll like feel this is weird to even like say i don't even i don't even know if people can relate to this but like i can feel an audience's attention I can feel it. No, that's real. Can, it's re it's really like, real. I know if I have them on a string, yeah. and I know if there's like maybe they're like kind them. of you know distant. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's like when I have them on a string, I'll stretch out those moments of silence as long as I possibly can. I, I want it to be like you're almost drowning, and then then hit. Bro, and then I, when I don't, I really got to get in there to do it. It's just this weird. Thank God for radio and podcast because I couldn't live like that. Yo, well, yeah. we, we were on tour and we were doing that. Like Yo, there would I, be there just wasn't one show. Around. Where I didn't jump off that fucking stage. Oh, I saw you. I realized oh, yeah, you that is yeah. so important. And Mandy it and is. I really got in our groove. Like Mandy, I realized is the one who is like making this show flow. And even when there's a moment where she's tired of it, she looks at me and then I go out there and I move. Like we have learned so much how to control a crowd and like really execute what a live show is. I w that's my most proud moment of anything I've ever done is Horrible Decisions Live. Yeah, when are those, you guys going to get back shows? out there and do the live? Man, w talk to WME or somebody. Right. I mean, CDC, our Dr. agent Fast is talking talk. about the fall. Why are you waiting possibly? on people, bro? Why are you waiting on people? Because we can't do the white states. They don't fuck with us like that. <laughs> right, facts. We have a black audience. Y'all never did the South? The yeah, South is Atlanta, white. Yeah, Houston, like Florida, Houston, Atlanta, Atlanta yeah, Miami. All them places are open. When All the ones you just said are open. Y'all want to be real with you? We should be doing Atlanta. Yeah. I'm, I'm not even going to Atlanta to just we gonna be, be with up my there. friend. I'm going to jump out with a mask. You no. haven't had corona yet? Yeah, I had COVID. So then what you worried about? 
because they said you could get it again and there's a new strain oh, out. Listen to them with that shit. And my mom is still battling also, it two weeks later. Also, like, why she's is still that? It's, oh, uh, shit. Uh, 10 days later. Yeah. yeah and, but that's normal. It's supposed to be 14 days. Yeah, she still has all the symptoms. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. And shit, so, shit, like, shit, to, shit, to, shit. to be fair, and my sister just what has the a newborn. Fuck, Mandy? Yeah, no, on, no, she's now. in Florida. She's in Florida, oh. bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know. New York. You didn't say. No, no my mom saw, is in Florida. Calm down. You saw how long it was before he stopped caring about someone else beside himself. You saw, you saw, you saw, you saw that shit. Was like, no, no. Did you see? Literally, it was, it was three. It's like a goldfish's memory. It was just three seconds. Like, oh, that must be rough for you. In three, two, one. Could I be affected by this in some way, shape, or form? Surely you ain't shit. Listen. But yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I'm no, we looking for Texas, bro. I am looking forward get to go out back. There, yo. Just one more get back just out. a little bit of something. Yeah, get a yeah. taste. Listen, go out as there. soon as as soon as this shit open back up, you know, Black Effect live tours is definitely happening. Oh, oh see yeah, how you trying to take look, you see? He yeah. just came right there. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Get all that money. Get all that money. Hey, Charlotte, get all that money. We have partnerships. Thank you. Okay, uh, real life partnership. That was the best contract. To, not, to know we got our IP, that Yo, was yeah. one of the that best was, contracts that, we've had in front of us. Nah, Thank I'm you teasing, that. obviously. But like that was a funny shit. I think, like, uh, I think the Wild and Out guys was trying to go on tour. Do you remember this? Oh, Nick, trying to go, early and then, early on. And then Nick Cannon was like, nah, nah. that's a Nick Cannon <laughs> thing, bro. Like, you, they couldn't even, you put Wildin' out in like the credits or some yeah. shit. Damn. There's a church announcement. Stay um, woke, Nick. To me, stay woke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, make sure y'all pre order Tamika Mallory's um, upcoming book, State of Emergency. It'll be out March 11th on uh, Black Privilege Publishing, Shimon and Schuster. We're actually revealing the cover this Friday. Okay. Yeah, so we're revealing the cover this nice. Friday. So make sure y'all uh, pre order. Tamika's book. And um, yes, The Black Effect. This week we launched, uh, just yesterday, we launched Jess Hilarious' Carefully Reckless. Congrats, Jess. Yes. Hey. Congrats. Great clip you posted. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> on her. Well, that's on the producers. Who produces Jess's podcast? Sim. Salute to Sim. Yeah. Um, Sim produces Jess Hilarious' podcast, Sim. but that's out now. Uh, we also uh, launched We Talk Back this week, which is with my homegirls from South Carolina, AJ. We can't hear you, Taylor. You're on the microphone. You're not on the microphone. <laughs> but yes, I mean, listen, they got a lot of downloads already. But AJ and uh, Tammy, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna be on Brilliant Idiots next week, actually. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right. And um, of course, Horrible Decisions. You yeah. Know you know what I mean? Charlotte sent decisions. a really nice text about our audio listens, and that really made me feel good. I mean, listen, they, they numbers is through the roof right now. Yeah. You know, like Horrible Decisions is through. Horrible Decisions is the second most listened to podcast. Let's do it. <laughs> On Black oh, y'all thought we was just hoes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I just need y'all to know he does this over here. You know shit. No, because you know what? Honestly, I be forgetting because our YouTube don't be talking about shit. It dog. don't. And we I just got, started need... putting lip gloss on. I don't know what the fuck going on. <laughs> well, things are multi. I told you we come in there with graphic tees. That's the problem. They think they're coming to see whores, and we got graphic tees and sweats on. Yeah. Well, yeah, I put yeah, on lip We don't dress up for dress our video. Up. You gotta dress up. Can we do a? Can we do a podcast pro tip? I mean, I don't know if it's a pro tip. But this is just what I've seen. Okay. Podcasts are multi-platform. Everything's multi-platform. Absolutely. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like even if, uh, if you look at a show like The Breakfast Club, it's radio, it's uh, it's YouTube, it's social media, and it's the podcast. Podcasts are audio and the visual, right? right? But the main thing is the audio. Audio, absolutely. That's what the advertisers spend the money at. It's with the audio. YouTube is great, you know what I mean? But that's a whole other revenue check for, for, yeah. for people. But I think nowadays you have people launching podcasts starting with YouTube. I don't know if that's the best idea. I agree. I agree with you. And I think that when you have the video component, especially early on, it takes away from the focus and making sure Absolutely. your audio is really good. Absolutely. Especially because, again, as a podcast, people are going to listen to you. A lot of people want to perform for a camera. And unfortunately, as an audio listener, that's the only way I listen to podcasts is audio. I'm Same. not watching you. Yeah. So, you know, uh, I guess, yeah, that was a good uh, pro tip. I think that the I disagree. Well, but, we, but, but you're, see, you're I was big gonna say, on YouTube. You have utilized that formula of clips and visual to drive them to the podcast. The reason why I disagree is because it's hard to find, to discover a podcast on mm. these audio platforms. Is it? I don't, I don't think that at all. I disagree. So How do you find Brilliant Idiots? Like no, 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 no. Discover a new podcast. For example, like there are people who will discover Brilliant Idiots mm -hmm. 
from a clip talking about a subject that's near and dear to them, but they might have no clue who the fuck we are. Mm -hmm. But they really care about red plastic cups. And we do a funny clip about red plastic cups, and then we put it on YouTube. And they're watching videos and videos about red plastic cups, and all of a sudden these two assholes start talking about red plastic cups. And they're like, holy shit, these guys are kind of funny. What else do they talk about? Oh, you mean like the algorithm? They get fed the algorithm? in their algorithm, that they right have about. the opportunity mm-hmm. to discover, right? That's like why a music track. I, exactly. It's going to play you something simpler. But, the but reason- here's the thing. What, what I was so big on video, the reason I was so big on video for uh, specifically our podcast in the beginning is also when there's a story that hits, mm-hmm. right? Like, for example, we talked about Takashi on this podcast. The first time you ever talked about it was on this podcast. That generated 2 million views. We don't do 2 million listens. Yes, we do. Not per episode. Yes, we do. Not per episode. Yes, we no, do. We don't. I know the numbers. Trust me, we don't. 2.2 2 right a now. Month. A month. A month. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm I said bugging. per episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. You're so, right. so what I'm saying is what that did is that brought us Talk in, shit, in front of a whole bunch of different eyeballs. And some of them might be able to discover a podcast and then really start to like it and really appreciate it, especially in the beginning. Like in the beginning time when we would put out clips and there was way less going on in the podcast world, literally anything with your name on it would just go through the roof because people were just so they needed to devour whatever the fuck you were just saying. It was really mm-hmm. amazing to watch. And we got so much growth because there are so many people that knew you but didn't even know you had a podcast. Yeah, but... This, but and you, now that happens with me and stand-up and these things. Yeah, but, but like, like flagrant, y'all grew that with audio. No, that's always video. From it's the beginning. always been video? Always been video from yeah. the beginning. Really? But, you're, but see... Yeah. And, and we would... And we would... And, I, and I'm not to cut you. I do want to hear your, your point, but like... But isn't Patreon audio or is that video? Patreon, Patreon's both. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, so okay. it's like what we did is Patreon's a whole different thing, but what I think is having that video component is just the best advertising for your podcast because there is this YouTube algorithm that's going to push things in your face. There's no algorithm for audio yet. You're never scrolling just a random podcast feed on the inter- on your like a uh, podcast app and they go, oh, "I'll try these people." Well, no, I on, don't a- know. I, on Apple it is. On yeah. Apple, it, it like I don't I don't it's know how the behavior that's what I was because about. it's so long. Like a two hour podcast is too much to digest for the first time, not knowing who the hosts are. But five minutes on a clip about a com a content that you really no, I agree enjoy. With that, but Apple will recommend to you podcasts yes. based that off what you've listened before. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's but what it's I was such a say. big barrier of entry. It two is, hours, but, you know. But it's also people that choose that app for that thing, opposed to YouTube, where is that actually where you only listen to podcasts, or are you watching Andrew Schultz? because of stand-up clips or maybe found him through another clip and now you're watching a podcast, I feel like the reason Apple does it better is because more like this, people have found us through Joe Rogan. He had yeah. maybe yeah. a porn star on once and then Horrible Decisions was on next. Speaking of that, but, that's why Horrible's numbers are through the roof right now. I mean, it's it's promo and marketing because of Black Effect just, as well, okay. but the fact yeah, that yeah. they went on, what was y'all on? Call Me Daddy? Or, oh, no, no, we had the ex her Sophia, daddy girl. Y'all was on one of them shows. And then all those. We brought, we brought we brought a white Woo! counterpart. The white oh, people man. were there. Like, white, what? The whites hey, came over. It, hey, it I worked. had to be Dr. Umar the next week. I was like, Look, <laughs> this is an Africans only podcast. You're lucky in here. We Shit. went from 27 white listeners to 29 real quick. Y'all went way up. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying, having that type of that, opportunity though. to have your your content advertised for free by YouTube. It's yeah. just like it's just it's a no brainer, and also social having the clips go viral oh, on I agree Twitter with and Instagram. They're free. Oh, y'all paid to have stuff. us on that little featured page. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Well, I know we know. <laughs> I, I'm just saying we never pay, but our clips just will go viral. It happens with flagrant all the time. We'll be talking about Ellen, and then all of a sudden people will discover yeah. it. But the thing about YouTube also is like I did Rogan once. I had a TED talk, right? All of a sudden, there's this synergy between audiences that the algorithm knows about. So I go do Rogan and my stand-up clips are getting, you know, popping, whatever. All of a sudden this TED talk I do goes viral. And I think it's over two million right now. But it's because all those listeners of Rogan also like TED Talks. Ted talks. So YouTube starts yeah, going, yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah, watch, yeah. you like this guy? You probably gonna like this guy's TED Talk because yeah. you guys like TED Talks. You talk. did that a while ago, didn't you? What long time ago. It was the second time I, I went on. I was surprised you didn't even pub that more. It was a good TED Talk. Yeah, it was fun. No, I loved I, I, I was really like cool. I feel like that's the pinnacle of like entertainment, like I made it a TED Talk. That's like the pinnacle of like uh white. Uh, I talk for a livingness. Stacey Stacey Abrams said that. You know who got a good TED Talk? Wallow, bro. Yeah. Wallow got a fire TED Talk. Uh, He's great. Oh, I gotta watch that. Nah, Wallow got a fire TED Talk. Chris, where you at? I want to ask you something. Is he on? Yo. Talk to us about the the audio video thing real quick. Give Give some tips. Well, I mean, I think what Andrew says makes sense. I mean, I think the the issue in podcasting is discoverability. 
right? Mm -hmm. uh, and I think, you know, YouTube's algorithm is a lot more friendly towards that than iTunes or even probably Spotify. But I think the thing you always have to try to balance that out with is that, and I think you mentioned that earlier, is that an audio listen is worth more than a video view, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. If you're comparing it one-to-one, -one, right? And it's not always a one-to-one -one comparison, but just in terms of something like a CPM, audio is worth more. Now, as more people kind of migrate towards video in the podcasting space, you might see the, the prices come down and meet somewhere in the middle. But right now, certainly audio listen is worth more. The question is, you know, obviously the community in a place like YouTube is just tremendously bigger than the podcasting space right now. There's more things out there. So it's really, I think, you know, curation and discoverability are, are just the, the two issues that everyone's trying to figure out. Yeah, right so now. videos would be for pr promo mm -hmm. and promo, marketing. Right. And audio would be for the dollars. I mean, it, it's not exactly accurate that they're worth more. Yes, it is. But how? When I have, I have an advertising agency. I, I have a podcast the, network. I sell the ad. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, Come so, on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to give you a peek. No, I'm going to give you a peek. No, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to give you a peek. All right. I'm going to give you a peek. Yeah. Because you my man. And this, yeah. like, I feel like you should share information and show people what's, yeah. what's possible and what's, what's sure. out there. I'm, I'm just saying, I sell the ads for this podcast and Flagrant, and I sell them based on the YouTube views and the audio views, yeah. and they don't get counted differently. It's a grand total of them both. But, but I think yeah, what but you're I saying is equivalent. if it was solely YouTube, right? Even, I'm sure you know when you get paid through Google or YouTube, right. it is different from the CPM. I mean, Chris taught us that. Shout out to Chris, by the way, who put horrible decisions on. Yeah, and I've seen the brilliant idiots in But yeah. that right. CPM was so important when That's we were getting paid, and he taught me a lot about Trust that. Me, bro, it is what it <laughs> is. It's good, I'm it's good, it's cool. I'm telling but you. you can merge them the, for both, opposed to people on YouTube who can't do that. What I would say is this. What, technically, in terms of like an advertiser scale, right, in the way that we calculate them, they're the same. But what Chris is 100% right about is that an audio listen is more valuable in a way because the amount of time an audio person spends on a podcast is longer than video. Yeah, that's what they're yeah. paying for. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think in that regard, it's more valuable. But monetarily speaking, in terms of like if you get 200,000 views and 200,000 listens, you still charge in the company you're advertising on 400,000. You know what I'm saying that I'm not explaining? An ad read versus a YouTube ad. Let me clarify that. I'm, the drop in ads. Yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, that's totally yeah. different. That's what I'm talking about. That's what he's talking about. And that's what. Yeah, no, but yeah. Yeah. Ad, you're talking about YouTube ad. I'm talking about ad read. Right. No, like, I'm talking talking about ad reads like the ad reads are the combination of both of those view counts and listen counts together right oh, so y'all people... put the ad reads in the videos yes of course oh. Oh. <laughs> no i'm saying i wonder if that i wonder if we're if we're cutting our nose off despite our face in that situation it feels like you're giving away a two for one no 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 trust me i'm gonna just, give you a peek just trust me. i'm gonna give you a peek just and i'm gonna watch me. that nose get just hard trust me, bro. <laughs> Yo, should we get a rule out? Why you got to do that? Y'all are really measuring this here. I'm just saying, bro. No, it's not. It's I all work business. On, like, you know, we don't yeah, no, I get it. Bro. Yeah, we don't compete over here. We, we, no, no. We're, we're, no we're, I, I want, hey, listen. If we can make more money, hell by yeah. all means, let's absolutely, make more money. Absolutely. All I'm saying is like, from my understanding of the business, I can only express my understanding of the business. It used to be that they didn't care about the video ads in the early, or the video views in mm -hmm. the early days. And now, since so many podcasts are watched, Right, all of a sudden those ads oh, count, and they are are way more valuable than they used to be. And now they're equivalent in terms of the overall number. That I think it depends on the podcast. On. It does absolutely. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like for yeah, example, it's, it's flagrant, platform based. Yeah, what you're saying based. is true, but yeah. there, there's a movement within podcast in some parts of the podcasting space to not count. YouTube, it's 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 all going to shake out one way or the other. But what you're saying right now is is 100 correct. And 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 the reality is, is there are certain podcasts that are just. At the end of the day, it's like, do your listeners fuck with what you are telling them is good in those ads, right? right. Like, there's a podcast, right. obviously, like the Read, right, which has like insane synergy with their Absolutely. fans, unbelievable, and the things that they suggest to their fans, which I assume they actually believe in really strongly, their fans buy so. It don't matter if it's video or audio. I know they only do audio. They could say, nah, we want the highest CPM because we know we deliver. Yep. Mm -hmm. There are certain podcasts that do big numbers, but they can't sell a single thing. 
That's a fact. So their CPM true. goes yeah. down, yeah. right? So at the end of the day, it's not just a numbers game. You know, flagrant, we kill it. So we can charge a very have high good ads for you. Like when we did, and I don't want to say them anymore because they don't pay us. But Chris, you know, when we did a sex toy company and certain sex pills oh, yeah, they or whatever, kept coming back. that's we, our shit. People we will told, stop me in the street like, what's the code again, man? And we yeah. told Chris, I, we were like, you need to get, get Mo. Yeah, get Mo yeah, because yeah, yeah. Yeah, our companies, code. people love using those codes. But, By the way, I yeah. use the Reed's code too because I fuck with the Reed. Before I even went to Squarespace, I'm like, I Googled yeah. the Reed's codes. When you fuck with a podcast, you want them to make money. This is good podcast one-on-one for anybody out there that, that, that's listening. But you should be paying what the fuck media for the rest of the But what I like if you have a podcast, you should have an ad. But also listening to both of y'all, th- this also goes to show also with Chris being on, there is still not really a blueprint to... No how you can do yeah, this no, which not. is Facts. which is amazing it's like not, you yeah. could sit here and be like nah i know what i'm talking about because i make money Charlamagne is here, like nah but i make money and then Weezy and i have the experience is also not owning you know i mean we own our i IP can tell you stuff, how not but, to make money oh talk you about have it. to read ads you have to have ads on your podcast i 100 percent agree <laughs> you have to like yeah, honestly have, i was terrified that joining the black to. effect yeah. we wouldn't have ad reads i thought that before we understood what the business would be i thought you know what like we're gonna just basically have to pay to play like a luminary type of thing and i don't want that i don't want anybody to ever have to pay for a yeah. decision in a place that's not accessible Word. or like i want to keep growing i don't want you to stop finding us and the fact that we could do ad reads i love it especially when our ad reads are fun like i said with blue chew i used to say you know put your dick in a bitch's mouth and break a tooth with Whoa. blue chew i love that <laughs> jesus i want Christ. people to buy that that's so violent yo we choose violence <laughs> we choosing violence over here jesus christ and girls are like yeah i want that dick in my mouth it really works but yes yeah, it is an, it's an evolving business it is, it is. Absolutely. and it's so new man but it is gravitating more towards video as people are spending more and more time on youtube and as podcasts have grown but that's because people ain't got jobs right now but it's also because <laughs> the youtube space is where podcasts grow I mean, it's you know, different. I, I'm just that's thinking too, like that too. Yes, I can't think of a new podcast that popped without video. No, that's a lot of like just audio. Audio. There's there's a lot. Yeah, there's there's a, a more, ton more majority. Just, like the the video popping is more rarer than the audio. No, I'm saying, but a new like, one that got really big that doesn't have video. Nah, I can't think of one. It's, it's, it's a lot. Uh, What's one? I, mean, I don't think we're in that lane. I think now. we're watching funny stuff. I think that's why you can speak that way, right. and I agree. But. I mean, when I'm listening for like NPR, TED Talks, mental health type shit, the documentaries were like like monster type of podcasts. I don't like to listen to podcasts that have energy. Oh, that's a great point. Like those news ones are bigger than anything, bro. Yeah, the news and the long form story. The long form story. Yeah, the true crime ones. I love to see people. People like reactions in comedy, but with with the other real like in depth conversations and things like that, you don't really. You know what a huge one was? That shit iHeart had called something in Alaska. Missing in Alaska or some oh, shit like yeah, that. That shit was yeah, just audio. Yeah, yeah. That shit was shit. Look at the read. Massive. Yeah, <laughs> right. I would yeah, love to watch no them. But yeah, you're yeah, right. no, hundred percent. Right. I think they're grandfathered in from a time where like For the sure. they, are they are grandfathered. Yeah. Like you know, uh, uh, audio. But um, even but I look at right. the numbers Ebony K Williams does with holding court. Like yeah. she don't have no video. But it's just, I wish they did. I, I do too. I want to see. That's an interesting thing. Like the news informational pods really succeed without a video component. It's because, talk radio. Yeah, it's talk radio. Exactly. Yeah, but at the same time, there's. I mean, what you guys do in the morning is talk radio. That's why we're the number one urban. I hate the word urban podcast. <laughs> and I don't watch the record club. The clips when when like you do some funny moments and I can hear it. I do like seeing it after, but yeah. like I don't want to watch the Breakfast Club. But when you really thing. think about like the the rise to to fame of the Breakfast Club, that doesn't happen without YouTube audio and video combined. But you also it, but and, and there's a it celebrity is, component there, so you also course, have to course. add the celebrity. The, component. Listen, yeah, exactly. No, there's no, no one thing because you weren't no. that initially though. So, no, so, like literally ten years ago, we start we did that from the jump. We started putting videos on you. Yeah, you guys. Like were literally on since top our first it. interview, we got every single interview we've ever done recorded. I did want to watch Monique though. I got to. I went straight to YouTube. <laughs> that was but, a good one. But, it but was. It, and I think what happened. I would realize this when I would go overseas. Like there's this profound effect that you guys had because you guys became like the one place for hip hop news, right? So it's just like if you're a hip hop fan in Sweden. You watched The Breakfast. It was religious. Bro, we you get watched- 10 million downloads a month in the podcast. Oh, uh, and that's the not fourth, even shocking. And that's the fourth. Uh, that's the fourth highest place they listen to us. Right, right, right. Number right, one right. is still wow. radio. Obviously, yeah. Number two is YouTube. Three is Instagram, social media clips. I'm just saying, like, that it was just such a powerful thing, like to have those interviews and like every single day, people are just going, no, "Okay, that's what I'm going to do." Breakfast Club is like, but internet yeah, internationally, it's YouTube. If you want to become a global fucking enterprise, I agree with that. 
and also just yeah, having yeah, the yeah. ability to like share that moment, like the shareability of a clip. You know, that's why Facebook shit goes and even in a bad way. That's why all these fucking <laughs> crazy motherfuckers storm the Capitol because it's so easy to share the crazy shit on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. You know, look, uh, Biden's a lizard. Share. Your whole family Might knows be. about it. Say what? <laughs> it's possible. We, it's, well, jury's Biden? still out on that. They I'm say him and Justin Bieber are lizards. It's like a conspiracy theory about like taking their skin off. It's fucking crazy. It's possible. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is the YouTube rabbit hole I don't fall Bitch, down. Bitch, I love that yeah, shit. Yeah. I, I don't know shit about like, people being on. lizards Who's and animal? shit. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh and then I'm glad. I'm glad that y'all came today because this is uh this is the second time me and Mandy have spoken in five months. Yeah, so she said. I did just. Well, no, it is. Why? Why? It's it is. Not. It is. We, we text each other. We spoke on the phone oh, once. Oh, okay. I get it. So, te- yeah. okay. okay. So, so well, okay. and I do, and I do want to bring that up because while we're talking about podcasts, podcast networks, I, I am a part, and I'm not gonna, you know, just you because. Say it. Okay. Well, I'm yeah. And you see, I did the same to him because y'all still, y'all gotta talk. Uh, but I'm on another network right now, and I'm with two two new co-hosts that say aren't familiar. Say the name of the network. Oh, I'm on the Joe Biden network. Yes. I have. See, the thing is, my two co-hosts Alex, have never popped. Before. No, but, but I wanted to talk about it because as far as also a lot of uh podcasters at, uh aspire to be a part of a network. Mm-hmm. And so they expected pretty much for like a report card. And I'm like, listen, we have to look at it. I come from a corporate background yeah. where I can't go to the CEO and say, hey, how do you think I'm doing? And I think they expected that from Joe. I think a little bit, and when people see us with you, I think they just think that we talk all the time, we have dinner because we're a part of the black effect. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, no, I don't have access to just be like, hey, Charlamagne, can you tell me how we're doing? What's our numbers? What am I doing? And you know what I mean? So I think a lot of people- Why do you also, don't have the access? Why do you feel like that? Um, but I also just feel like because of the busy person and CEO that this man is, for me to call him and ask for a report card on how we're doing his horrible decisions, no, we see how many people I are in those be, threads with IR. You than, just gave the report card. Welcome to you give said well, number no, two. It, I know, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, hit you, I hit y'all up a couple weeks ago and told y'all. Yeah, that's yeah. when we spoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but, I, I but, watch but your... I, I just don't yeah. think it's accessible. And, and for me, also just to be respectful of what you're building with the Black Effect. Yeah. You drop... You are dropping shows almost on a weekly basis. So a part of me is almost selfish to to feel like I can just hit up a network head I get and, and be in that way. I don't know. That that was my take on it. I get so it. when I say it, it wasn't even in slight, but it was just like, I'm not doing that with Charlotte. I don't hit up Joe like, hey, can I get a report card? Like, you have to be... It, whether you aspire to be on a network or whether you're new to a network, you have to care first about the product you're putting out, the content you're putting out. And if you're giving 110 percent, fuck a report card. Well, I think I think the other thing is Charlemagne didn't make ho- horrible decisions. It's not the birth of his network. He acquired it because it's it's a bomb show. That's right. right? And Charlemagne has put us on to mad shit. Absolutely. Because of how good our show is. And I don't want you to like be checking in with us all the time. I love that iHeart does. We got a scheduled call next week. But. I feel bad now because I be calling you for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Who says you can't? I, mean, like, you I don't know even know what's happening right now. Like, what, 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 just, just nothing. What is this? What's going on? I, I tell him, Mandy. Okay, I mean, it's not anything. So basically, there was a meeting that we had for on my other network on yeah. air. And they See, wanted, the thing is. Yes, but they wanted my co-host, Liv and, and Bridget. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I'm just Why talking about Why can't we mention the show? Happened. Let's talk about I'm the show. I'm mentioning the show. See, the thing is. Cross promotion. But, but I bring yeah. it up to say we had a meeting on air, on mic. I think and, it's funny, by the way. I see your guys' clips on thank Instagram. Thank you. Thank I you. I think it's funny. Our YouTube sucks. Like, I have no knowledge of YouTube. So listening to you talk, like, this is all new. Like, But also with our content, yeah. everything is not monetized. Like, our we need help with our YouTube. I learned this I'm the hard way because YouTube yeah. not popping though. But no, no. Yo, we have as over many yeah. listens as we get yeah. on audio, I be Nigga, we'll too. go there and get it's like, like 15 10. to 20 something. We get like 10, 15, really? 20,000. Uh, and y'all don't promote on the audio? Y'all tell people to go to the YouTube page? We don't really be doing that. No, nah, we don't be doing that. <laughs> oh, that's a start. <laughs> yeah, but you know what it is? We no don't really do that. After four years of just talking. Yeah, that's a start. I forget. Yeah. People would be on YouTube like, y'all bitches need to put makeup on. And I started wearing makeup like, all right, I guess that's why we're here today. Wow. You know, I mean, we got it. It's it's learning. It's it also, thing. you need a nice visual. Like, I, don't, I don't know. I agree. Like, your guys' visual was, well, now you're set up that you guys have the studio, but the, uh, what is it called? What was it? What was the old... Uh, the Stop horror life? No, no, no. Engine <laughs> room. Like oh, engine, engine room yeah, visually yeah, yeah, just yeah, sucks. Yeah, 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 and it's yeah, yeah. like, you gotta that, was, set. that was part of the reason why. Which is why y'all yeah. never went over there. Yeah, Mandy yeah. and I are about to build our set, especially for, I mean. You have to, if, if someone's going to be watching for two hours, it's got to look nice. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. flagrant I is super detailed. And right. this is, yeah. But our, our, shit, listen, our listeners A hundred thousand dollar robot in the fucking... Still, we're talking about 
with your rich ass. Yeah, we, we pick up the numbers you dropping, bro. Pick up the numbers you dropping, bro. I got my camera on Kiffa. Let's see. Let's see. Listen, the moral of the story is, um, I'm all, I'm always talent first. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Regardless, regardless of what I'm CEO and I don't care if it's the Black Privilege book publishing imprint with Simon & Schuster. I don't care if it's the company me and Kev got with Audible. I don't care if it's the Black Effect Podcast Network. I'm always talent first. So I don't ever okay. think you can't reach out. We just added a clip channel to yeah. ours. And that's your and promo. And I, and I they call it a clip it. channel, yo. Yeah. Yeah. Marketing, yo. That's Keep it. the brand going. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I mean, to, to be fair, we did talk or, shit over the summer. We, we were talking a mm -hmm. lot right before we uh, yeah. joined Black. I mean, Effect. you were on all the meeting calls. Thank you for that. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And and I mean, I was shocked about that. Like, but again, I guess, again, it's probably just thinking corporate. I'm not going to the CEO to ask him for a report card. And so, you know, even me sharing that, Joe was like, y'all can talk to me. Y'all can call me. You're telling me. I can call you. Mm -hmm. I can talk to you. So I appreciate that. But I'm going to tell you to call Dolly as soon as you call me. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Dolly, no, no, no. No. Dolly is the president of the Black Effect Network. She And by some things, she just knows right off the bat okay. more yeah. than me. You right, know what right, I mean? Right, right, right. That's all. That's all. It's just funny that like you feel so you may be um, insecure about inconveniencing one of the guys that you know are your bosses, but you and this my no, we partners, and this my partners. homie. Yeah, partners, partners. yeah, I don't like the boss word. Yeah, okay, not you know your partner, but you you feel zero insecurity about uh, pegging a guy. <laughs> 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 that was a great fucking point. You are a fascinating woman. That's a great fucking point. But in all seriousness, I just want to see you guys get the most views that Me you possibly too. can get. And and it, I'm right. not saying that information, I, I truly do not want to come at as condescending or any of that kind of shit. It's not at all. There's just rules to this shit. And obviously those rules change a little bit. And as they change, we try to adapt with them. And I try to share that with That's as right. many people as I Absolutely. possibly can. I want everybody to win. I'm not in competition with nobody. I want everybody to win. Okay. I genuinely, I like truly want I everybody to win. I genuinely disagree with the last statement you made. <laughs> What's the last statement? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I, the last there are some is. people that I do not want to win. Hey, <laughs> man. You know, I'll, be, I'll be honest, uh, but Joe is not one of those people. I, I, if he wins, great. If he doesn't, great. It ain't I, up I don't to really us. Listen, it's, not, it's not up to us. It's also not my world. That's right. Nothing, it would be stupid to like not care to like really care about someone's success in a world. Yeah, that but you're you not don't. Even you in. even don't care about the success of any other comedians. The stuff that you and Alex do is no, it's that's not true. You, no, you but, can't. But you can't. I, I agree. You you really can't. You you can't. Oh, I want you them gotta, to you be gotta, successful. I, I try to be like this. Tunnel vision. Can. Yes, that like, tunnel ma vision. Imagine if Usain Bolt was running and he was looking to the left or the right to see. Yeah. Him. You can't do that. You gotta just go. Yeah, yeah. And when you get to where you're going, once you cross that finish line, then you look back. You be like, oh, I'm already over here. I don't know. I think it's different. But there are certain people. That um, when they fail, it feels very good. Nah, not yeah, today to was me. a great day for me for Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like, not to be me. honest, be honest. He nah, don't um, see it as a failure. He got his Twitter back. Not, not to you, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> there are certain people that you don't enjoy when they take an L. Not an L, really. I, I like in, I like seeing people get what they deserve. I hate the way he talks. The way he talks. The way he talks. The way he talks. I hate. What do you mean? Nobody ever said no more than this guy. You could tell Charlotte. You could be like, like, yo, you got Timberlands on. He'd be like, nah, technically they're Tim's. You know what kind of answer that was? That was a very Joe Budden. Let me get my way out of that answer. That's what the fuck. No, I really, I really don't like to see people like lose, but I do like to see people get what they deserve, good or bad. If, okay. Yeah. If I you like treated that, me all. like shit, that's it. If you treated me like shit, especially when you didn't have to, you know, if you just okay. did it for your own fucked up ego. reasons, for your own ego, and I know I'm, I know I'm gonna pass you. Yeah. I know that. So I'm trying to treat you in the most cordial way possible because I know where I'm going. Yeah. And there'd be no reason for me to beef with you because I know it's eventually is gonna be beyond you. Right. Yeah. So I have no reason. Yeah, but yeah, if you yeah. treat me like shit when you really don't have to, I do not feel bad if anything happens. It's hard to, to have that shitty. energy when you're doing well, which is why I can understand why no. you're speaking that way. Like the better I do in life, the more I feel good about everybody Hell else's yeah. life. And I be knowing when I hear certain people talk, you know, I, I, I can I can sense pain. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can sense trauma. I know when people have a lot of unhealed issues that they haven't dealt with. So I don't take shit personally. Y'all go, you know, go, go, go reshift once. Woke to me, man. 
Cause I, yeah, I don't know. Like, <laughs> if I don't like you, I don't care about your pain, your trauma. You know what I mean? It's like, I just said that. I just out, said that on the podcast. She did. Figure that shit out. I just out, said yo. that. I don't yeah. give a fuck. If I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you, and I don't care about how you feel, how I make you feel. Nothing. All no, your I, pain and trauma. All oh, that I thought shit. You were talking about with the breakup thing. Yeah. I'm, just, listen, I'm just saying I can understand when certain people say certain things that I know it's not about. That's all. Okay. That's true. You can't take everything. Yeah, yeah, don't take it personal. Get, That's all it is. That shit, <laughs> we all do because we take when when because when you take shit personal, then it hits you in an emotional way, and it, it it causes like old triggers to resurface, and now you mad, and now you looking for revenge, and mm. now you're not focused but you know on what, what the fuck you should lot, be you, doing. You've been, you've done a lot of therapy, and when you elevate in that way, like I don't vibrate on low frequency. Me neither. And it took a long time to get to that point where I felt elevated, like when bitches even talk about me or people are saying mean things to me and I could just not give a fuck, that's a real, like, yeah. you level up. Hell yeah. I but left, you know what? I, I, I left the Bronx, so I really don't be listening to nobody <laughs> When no you just more. said you felt oh, like you couldn't you from the Bronx and Florida? I, don't, <laughs> don't do that. Mandy, don't do Mandy was Mandy. making money and Whoa. would not leave the Bronx. I, I would not leave it. the Bronx. But you know I the just craziest the people Bronx. in America come from the Bronx and all of Florida. That's what I hear. Jesus But I'm Christ. not crazy, I promise. Nah, Mandy, you definitely Look at your shirt. It's just a Buddha hoe. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I tell men right before I peg them. It's okay. It's just your booty hole. Holy yo, shit, Mandy is so fucking wild, bro. No, I'm not, I'm not when though. We were doing an episode. I forget what it was. I think oh, it Jesus. Was, this shit was the funniest thing ever, bro. Blueprint. What happened? <laughs> oh my god. Mandy oh. said to my face, <laughs> "Don't. Do, we don't goes, have to relive no, this." No, no. She goes. She goes. <laughs> we're talking about something. I forget birth what control. it is. It's birth control. Something. She be like, Science. honestly. I don't really believe in science like that. <laughs> I said, what? She goes, See, what the, wait, she goes, I don't believe in science. Like, wait. I go, like, the whole thing of science? Wait, like, you're talking about the airplane. Then, no, 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 also, no, she the, sound like a Trump supporter to me. No, 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 we not going to do that. Is fuck. We ain't going to do that. That's MAGA as fuck. I almost pissed myself about. when you told that fucking <laughs> Yo, what did she, wait, what was she Andrew saying said, about gravity? How could you she not believe in science? Andrew goes, well, how do you think airplanes are made? Yeah, and then what did she say? Blueprints. Valid. <laughs> <laughs> I had an answer. A, she got a point. I had an answer for everything, bro. She got a point. She came there, like, I was like, well, what do you feel about the plants and shit? And she was just like, I'm skeptical. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Mandy, we're on one. Mandy, we're on What do you think about We're on a planet. Hold on, I'm in the stars. No, it is. Pluto is not a planet anymore. Maybe about science. It's so Okay, so what's up with... What up with what? What? We're not gonna do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you guys. That you, you, if you think you're an idiot, if you think you're an idiot. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, you I don't believe in planets, Mandy? No, Bro. I believe in planets. This but is I believe... Neil deGrasse Pegson yeah. right here. No! <laughs> it's just, it's just that. Of, of course, I don't know. It's. I feel like it's what we should just take as fact and not question. So I feel like it's fed to us and we're just not supposed to question it, which is why I question it. Like which one? But we're on a planet. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't say we weren't. Wild I mean, that's the girl, name yo. that they gave it. But is it round? You, no, no bro. I'm not gonna lie. I've been, look, I have not, been looking no, up and having we a have conversation a together. Don't do this to me right now. So I did. So when you go to the beach and you look all so, the way over, cut, like cut this out, Alex. Why, Mandy? Stop. Why? We got a flat earther right here. I didn't, say, I didn't say we got it was flat. flat I didn't say it was go flat. Ahead. You go to Rockaway. I, no, first you of all, you are two YouTube videos away from storming the Capitol. <laughs> Yo, this is gonna be on the list. No, no, no. We didn't. We didn't. If you think you're brilliant, maybe. When you go to the let's ocean. Let's do some Asking Idiots, Taylor. Ooh, get, let's get some good ones. Yeah, let's yeah. do some Asking Idiots. Ask that one about about. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if the earth is flat or not. Huh? See, I'm just fucking with you. Sorry. <laughs> 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 I Listen, would believe Joe mean. Biden is a lizard Bro, more two, than I two, would. Two, two flat earthers in the room. It's right. time to go. Y'all sitting here <laughs> laughing at me about what shape the goddamn planet is, and y'all talking about people as lizards and shit, and that's cool. Yo, but real talk though, parts of the world are flat. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know where uh -huh. you're going with this. <laughs> parts are flat. 
Right? It's like someone in the comments oh. help me. Parts of the world are flat. Hey, bro, parts like, bro, parts bro, of the world bro, go bro, up. Bro, parts bro, go bro. down. I like drums, bro. That's how I like my planets. All right. What? No flats. Drums, bro. <laughs> drums only. You don't okay, like bro. flats? That was that was a sophisticated <laughs> joke to get right there. You needed a fucking be a music major <laughs> at Howard you University. Like, Talk about chicken. How you just need to eat chicken? Talk about chicken. Oh, shit. I thought it was some drum line only, joke. Only, right? only black people. Only black people just do drums and flats. The white man. The cracker came out there. This is the I was doing this shit. Shit, I don't know. It's chicken. It's the good part and the not good part. You got any dick questions in there? Tell that one. Ritz or saltine? Okay. Oh, I do like a nice little cracker. Yo, crackers are so fire with some cheese on it. All right. Oh, you know that's my favorite meal. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. You fucking honky. I thought you were the fucking white guys no more. I'm not. Oh. It's just a wild time. I haven't had a pink dick in what, almost two years? Really? That's a lie, yo. How? I don't know. I just felt like something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What question we got, Taylor? You want me to go through our whole mail? Let me see who we got. People be fucking their sisters and shit Stop thinking horrible us. decisions is all freaky. Yeah, we can. We can. <laughs> we have a range we here. We for some. We have a range. Come on. Let's see. Come all on, right. Taylor. Give us one. Um. Okay. So, D Hill underscore fit. You either have to watch a man bang wife or fiance, or your wife has to watch a man bang your bang your which one say that again all right he's not well, speaking I'm... proper english sorry okay i'm you to would y'all, these taylor uh rob stratamus 777 would y'all rather fight 100 duck sized horses or fight one horse sized duck come on come all on right, taylor, taylor, all right taylor, 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 come on <laughs> Taylor, 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 come on taylor and, and he was just really hyping you up taylor like I Taylor. need Taylor, and Taylor. this is what Taylor is giving us. That was that was disrespectful to me. <laughs> <laughs> I felt disrespected by that. I'm, looking up, I'm looking up our I shit. I fucked them little horse sized ducks up though. I tell oh you that much. Goodness. Horse sized, but them shit will be strong because they're no, horses. Duck, duck ducks sized horses. Beef. Oh, one duck sized horse or a hundred. Oh yeah, you just stomp them all out, dude. Squish them. Yeah, but they big though. They're big. No, they're duck sized. But, but they like horse a duck meat, horse meat is is lean and tough. Now nah, you can squash a horse. Um, or a horse-sized tail. A lot of them you ans- y'all answered already. That's why I'm like, you ask do you want me to pull up one of these? I yeah, gotta- pull up one of yours. We- All right, it was searching. on Patreon. I love listening to y'all. It's been about three years. I was recently having the best sex of my life. We've been dating for three months, and he brings out a side of me sexually that I didn't know I had. I literally had a seizure on the dick. Um, <laughs> what? Yes. So she says, his best friend is also his roommate. And if they haven't fucked already... I know that if they did, they'd love it. They both identify as straight, but the energy is there. His friend is really fine, and I'm heavily fantasizing about an MMF threesome. How do I go what about this? What the fuck this? is MMF? <laughs> male, male, female. The same thing you posted oh. that Jess Hilarious just talked about. I don't oh. know if I should go and leave it in my daydream, but plot twist, his best friend is dating my little sister, and she could never find out. Do I leave it alone? Do I wait until maybe his friend and my sister break up? Do I tell my man? I feel like it's so chaotic, but I also think it'd be great to watch my man's best friend suck his dick. Please help me sort this toxic right. fantasy. Well, first of all, I got to think. MMF is male, male fantasy. Is that male, like, male, 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 female. Okay, is that the politically correct way of saying getting a train, train. ran on you? No, 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 we're we not doing this. Do we're not doing it. I'm old school. If I don't there's know. three people, it's a threesome. A train What's is a train? when you're waiting to train get is, fucked. Like yeah. they're coming in. It's like a circle. A train a is a, a caboose. Like there's a part, a one after the other. After the you might other. get a spit roast. You might have one here. That ain't a train. So it's got to be more for two than to be a train? Yeah. Or or one guy has to fuck you, leave, and the other one comes right after. That's the train definition. That's the train. Like y'all aren't involved in it together. She's not sucking dick while she's getting fucked because that's not a train. That's, that's a threesome. threesome. Yeah. Got Look at you. y'all learning. Got yeah. you. Got you. Now, you, why if, if the dick is so good and <laughs> she's like, enjoying fuck. it and having Caesars on it, would she want his roommate Caesar to fuck Same as a threesome. <laughs> you could have great pussy and want another pussy in it to make the pussy more fun. I'm just Bash. glad I'm married because y'all greedy nowadays, bro. That just sounds like yeah, greedy. Sex is getting oh, weird, greedy, man. Sex is just getting weird. Well, we Don't know you? it is for you. I think we need to stop it. <laughs> stop <laughs> having sex. Yeah, I, think we, need to stop I sex. think we need to pump the brakes. I think you're already pumping the brakes at three minutes. I think right? everybody needs to get back. You know what I mean? Get we just need to, to bring what? it back. We need to bring it back. Start at start the beginning. The beginning. <laughs> the Some beginning nice retro you know, missionary. Yeah, you know what I'm it. saying? Keep it simple. Real well, talk. Was it Sandy's advice because she's had a fantasy about brothers? Or was it father and son? Father and son. 
You want to fuck, fuck the father? Ball family? No, I would like. No, Come on, yo, no, tell the fucking truth right now, Mandy. Mandy, have you fucked the no, ball? No, I have not. You had a chip. Don't do that. I'm just saying. What happened? Don't do that. What happened last year? What happened what, last year? What, 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 they not even. He don't even play in LA no more. Oh, okay, a, you know, know. I'm being messy. She, I don't she know. Being messy. No, don't make your eye like that. I don't <laughs> no. know that man. I don't know that man. I wouldn't know That's, that man that, if you. Yo, walked. that would be amazing, yo. <laughs> What would? A bunch of black entrepreneurs fucking each other? You, Lonzo, LeBar, yeah, that'd no, be incredible. I, they're not entrepreneurs, they're athletes. And no, they are entrepreneurs. Yeah. Big baller brand? They well, got what about shoot? everyone on the Black Effect Network just start fucking? How about that? Ooh, who can I'm I married. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Do you like anyone? Who <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> well, Justin's gay. <laughs> what were you going to say? Let's stop. Married. Do we have an Instagram page, Charlamagne? Let me see what who you my top is. Stop, look, bro. Look. Hey, bro. See, he stopped himself. What are you going to say? He stopped himself. And then you were going to say black something. Black men don't cheat. No, it wasn't. Are there any black men on the Black Effect Network? On the Black Effect BD. Network? Yeah, he married. Black men on the okay. Matt Bond, Steven Jackson. Um, Debbie Brown is so hot, but she's spiritual. 85 South too. Show. Oh, yeah. 85 Hold on, Drink Champs. Oh. Glasses Malone. Oh, I love glasses. Dude. We do have, you have some Gangsta real. Gangster Chronicles. Come on. Keep dropping all the Black Effect pods. Let's go. All right. So, so some of those dudes, you want a father and son. <laughs> It was just, it's a fantasy that's never happened. No, I've thought about that, though. I'm not what? Wait, you've thought about a mother and daughter? See? Yes, mother See? and daughter. Thank you, Why Mandy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> these guys, man. These, these guys are hey, crazy. No. It's like, yo, you thought Gay. about Michael Thompson and Clay Thompson? No, I thought about a mom and a daughter. You would fuck the light-skinned looking motherfucker. <laughs> you would. Don't do yo, that. Yo, you would. Especially when it's a mother that's like 40, 41, and the uh -huh. daughter's like, Who's a celebrity mom? Oh, Lisa and Zoe. Who the fuck is that? Lisa. Uh -huh. The Kravitz. Lisa Bonet, Zoe Kravitz. Nah, I never thought about that. Okay, well, I have. Hold on. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to have sex with a mother and no, her I child? No, I said I thought about it. <laughs> yeah, we, okay? it's, it's a thought. It's a fantasy. <laughs> right, I said it's I like thought about it. It's like stepmom porn? Like nah, the, is that it's just thing? that you got these, you got Bro, these, you got these, the you got these, disrespectful thing to do you, to a guy. You got these mother daughter unions that are like more like big sister younger sister uh -huh. you know what i mean like she's Bernice 41. Virgo's type. Uh -huh. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah that makes sense i never thought i mean i never thought about that one but yeah in that realm but still like that dude the mother's ex-husband <laughs> can never say anything to you ever because you fucked his whole family <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Yo, well, no, not, not you are diabolical, bro. Like, <laughs> no, imagine you fuck someone's look, whole he was family. Really thinking, he was thinking hard. You, you got to think of a joke face, and you had it on. If now. somebody <laughs> fucked my like whole this. family, bro. <laughs> I gotta move. Don't ever call me step nothing, bro. <laughs> I fucked the whole family. I am daddy. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. I am the daddy. Don't ever Not call daddy. me step nothing, okay? Oh, you're pop. Bro, bro, that is with you. terrifying. <laughs> <You're pop. Yo. laughs> oh. Pops is disrespectful. I'm sorry. That is disrespectful. Bro. Pops is disrespectful. <laughs> do you guys think twins are weird? Because I do. Oh my God. What do you mean God. twins are weird? Like when no. people want to fuck twins. I wanted to fuck twins too Bitch, i i brought that up to a twin i was dating how did how did she take that uh, i had a girlfriend who had a twin sister oh, shit. and i was like, like identical identical and i was like yo so have y'all have y'all ever done <laughs> you know what i mean i was like yo y'all ever talk do your teeth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i was like that Exactly. I was like, yo, y'all did it. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> That's the most fucked one. No. Oh, oh, yeah, you know me. I'm just talking crazy. It's crazy. crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. But what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Though, but answer though. That's what I was going to say. What was her answer? And then she was like, and then my girl looks at me with her girl there and goes, uh, Are you asking me if I <laughs> fucked my sister? And I was like, Ah, you wild girl! You wild girl! Yeah, you crazy! She's talking crazy. She, talking crazy. And then she, she literally goes to me. She goes. She goes. That's that's incest. And then my reaction was like, for y'all, <laughs> <laughs> not for your boy. You know what I'm saying? This is so sick. This is 
a WPS. Yeah, it is. Out what here, is what's a throuple? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, man. But for I'm real, dead. though, like, if you fuck twins. <laughs> oh, God. Would you not? That shit is mad redundant. How far would you want it to go? That's redundant. Like, because when twins do porn, oh, yeah. it's man. only legal on Pornhub if they're, like, separated. Like, it's, like, back and forth. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, do you yeah, mean? Yeah. They're not allowed to post not allowed videos to with incest. Hook up it's with each other. Incest, incest is illegal. That shit is illegal. Really? Bro. Yeah. But what would you want the twins to do? How do you mean, really? I didn't know that was illegal. Yeah. What if they're not fucking each other? What if they? What if it's like Yo, two guys and a girl, or two girls and a guy, and they're not touching each other? They're just fucking this one individual. That's how, how it has to be. How hypocritical is this? Uh oh. Twins can't even share a nut, but they're here because they shared a nut. Yeah, that's politically incorrect. <laughs> that's now I'm with you. No, we need to. We need to. That's not yet. Yeah, word up. Your mind, right. your, mind right. your mind is so he's different. Your right, right, mind is so different. You're just going to stop sharing nuts? Right, though. That's politically incorrect, That's bro. the most natural thing to do. You know what else is cruel and unusual punishment? What's that? What if they're Siamese twins? No. Oh, no. no. You, oh, man. Man. you, you can't say that. Oh, you can't say no. that. You know what? Chill. When no. I was thinking, you know then you say, to share a head on TLC? Yeah, so you got to be like, can I get some heads? They got one pussy. Can I get some heads? What those mouths do, though? I can't laugh, right? Oh, no. That's fucked up, man. Siamese twins are out here getting accused of incest and they have no choice. <laughs> That's they wrong have no as fuck, choice, bro. No, but it doesn't count if you have one pussy. Like, the girls, I don't know why I went like this when I said they shared heads, but... <laughs> they did. They, they, they do. Siamese twins have one pussy? Yeah, um, one pussy. Look up the girls from oh, no, TLC. One head. So they what? said, when they talk about finding a partner, they'll talk about one guy. Yeah. Because they have they share a body, they just have two heads on the body. That's too much. Oh wait, that's, yeah. that's I'm too indecisive for that thing. You know what I'm talking about, right? The two. See if you could pull it up. Watch that shit. I don't want. To, yeah, I don't want to see nothing. That's what do you mean? Nah, 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 watch nah, it. Nah. You want to see it's it, bro. Wild, bro? I think one of them's a lesbian too. Yeah. So she just got to. She just got. She just got to <laughs> stare at pubic hair while her sister's blowing a guy. <laughs> TLC. <laughs> think what? about that. Abby and Brittany. Look at that. Yeah, they have one body. But they got two full heads. They're teachers too. I looked them up recently. Why don't they die? Nah, nah, it's disrespectful. Nah, they, they, did they, they name them Abby and Brittany on purses? Like, like A and B? <laughs> they did that. Do you think they pay them two salaries? That's. Would you pay them two different salaries, Charlemagne, if they were on the Black Effect or one? Yo, man, what? I didn't know. That's a good question. That's a good question. Bro. No, no, it's two voices. It's nah, two voices. It's a good, how are you going to spend it all? Because they would have to <laughs> share. <laughs> what are you going to spend it all? Like, y'all going to have to buy the same <laughs> shit regardless. I don't know. That's a come great on, question, bro. Yo, yo come on, bro. No, nah, it's important. Yo, cut this part. I'm before we no, get close. No. Do they have you one social security number? <laughs> that's don't a great no. That is the question. That's a good no, ass They have one social security okay. number? One salary. No, you're That's right. A good that ass is a point, good question. Bro. You got two social security numbers, two salaries. I mean, they have two names, so I would assume they go by two different people. Damn, bro. Damn, y'all got deep. You can't, I'm sure they you can't. They both passed their driver's li license exams, taking the test twice. They both got two separate teaching licenses, but they are only paid one salary because, as one oh. of them told BBC, we're doing the job of one person. Wow. Oh, wow. So, oh, wow. Salute to Abby and Brittany. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Salute to them. They couldn't see apart at all. We can't hear I, you, Taylor. I, You're not on the mic. I think they said when they tried to put them apart, it was too risky. So they didn't do that. I believe. I'm not positive. But like a lot of Siamese twins have separate. They have double the organs. How are you going to separate them, Wheezy? You can't separate he's them because they up. share the same fucking body. That's they never body. thought about separating them. They You're pay for just one airline half. ticket. I'm looking. Oh, they no, 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 no. Wheezy, Wheezy. Oh, that was a dumb thing Wheezy said to me. We we're making fun of her no. for being oh, yeah, bring in, that up. For being in bring Mexico. This up. Yep. Right? She was <laughs> in Mexico, right? She was in Mexico. He said and you went to Mexico to be with the whites. I said no. She goes, she goes, I that's not true. <laughs> I stayed in a Mexican neighborhood. <laughs> I said, Wheezy. They're all Mexican they're all neighborhoods. Mexican. <laughs> there's not. There's white it's people. It's fucking that, Mexico, Weezy. Yo, there's That's where the Mexicans in live. I, oh, my mama, bro, where Mexicans do not live. There's luxury buildings where it's Mexicans live. It's called colonization, gentrification. So how you gonna tell me that was stupid, but you told me I yo, went to Mexico with be white people. Yo, you're stupid, bro. Holy <laughs> shit. You want to Jesus split these girls Christ. in half. You want to separate them in half. How the fuck are you going to do that? What you mean, me? you the one Science. He said he could huh? do heart surgery. Science. How are you going to split that girl in half, Paige? Conjoin, Yo, man, conjoin. Great point. We need Paige Donald Trump to pardon him, bro. From what? <laughs> what? What? 
talking a lot of shit. I'm not talking shit. I'm just saying. Yeah, you don't have no kids yet, bro. Exactly. You need to relax. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Your kids gonna come out matching like that outfit yeah, you got on. Just, All right. <laughs> They're gonna be a set. All right. You better relax. Yeah, you right. You know why? You got that, you got that, you got that, you got that preemie nut. Get yeah, word up. You gonna name him Kiff? <laughs> and then they're gonna be like, now Kiff. You word up. You better not, bro. Fuck, bro. Jesus Is that Christ. what happens if you Yeah, talk that's why shit you can't even call a baby ugly without kids. You can think you it, have but you just can't say it. Wax got a nice light skinned baby right now. Don't do that. That's years that, of, don't do of that. bullying light skinned people. Oh, oh my yes. shit. God. Yes. He got a little red bone Honestly, right now. Honestly, and his baby, their, their baby looks like a doll. Really? So adorable. So adorable. So adorable. Nice <laughs> little red bone baby. Oh my God. <laughs> And that's all on Carla. <laughs> all on Carla. Yeah. <laughs> light skin wax. A light skin wax. Really? Is yes. it boy or girl? A, a boy. boy. I don't even think he got female cum. <laughs> 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 like, 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 right. so, if somebody says to me, like, they're like, yo, predict what percentage of waxes come up, boys? I'd be like, 99. <laughs> I don't think there's one girl come swimming around in there at all. Not a girl. Oh, well, congrats. Bro. Right? Yeah, salute the wax and caller. All right. He got a little young MA come maybe. But. Oh <laughs> my God, dude. But I don't my. know. I don't know Good if he news. got girly girl Ooh. call. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the baby says when it cries. Y'all toxic. Y'all toxic, bro. Y'all toxic, bro. Y'all a bunch of idiots. This is a very flagrant. This is a very flagrant. Listen, Mandy and Weezy, anything anything y'all want to say before we get up out of here? Um, no, y'all make sure y'all check us out every Monday. That's Horrible Decisions. Yes. Type in horror wherever you listen to your favorite podcast and we'll pop up. Um, again, we also do have merch. Uh, we have more dropping in February. So that's at whorehive.com. I want the Buddha hole shirt. Yeah, I'm <laughs> dropping this in about two weeks. So y'all can get this. I ain't gonna hold you and some other stuff I'm dropping. Uh, those are just some one liners I say. But also we are on Patreon. A lot of y'all are part of the asshole army. So y'all know you get some really good bonus content. We have Yo, our damn live near, episodes are wild. It's yeah. titties coming out of the circle. And we have we have about a uh, hundred bonus episodes over there. But not only that, if you're single, you need your dick sucked. All the whores are ready. They're in our Patreon. Yeah, they, they are. They link up and fly each other out and have sex. There's it's not us. one asshole army dude that came single to our show that didn't get fucked. Yeah, like because so, like. They're horny when they this leave. Is that is pitch. a hell of a marketing. Yeah, no, that's a great, I mean, that is amazing. <laughs> that's a really good but pitch. Like, I'm a married you, man and I want it in just now. Yeah. I think about, thought about it for a second. Like, uh, really? You do have to type it all in. That's patreon.com backslash horrible decisions because it is an 18 plus platform. We'll post like porn that we like watching, not our own, but it, there's just it's a really good community in there. Uh, so make sure y'all follow us on all social platforms at horrible pod on Twitter and at horrible underscore decisions on Instagram and I'm your girl Mandy B full core pumps y'all know what it is I was gonna say if you got a pod Alex why don't you do the spiel Alex is yeah go ahead no Al you, you be talk. quiet as fuck you've been talking uh, you've no, been no, no. talking Drew claims talk I ain't gotta do nothing talk your shit y'all if y'all need a podcast studio and you in new motherfucking <laughs> York City it's in Soho cause she went to the whites oh so you know I did honey I wanted it. the uh, black business up in Soho we have a full scale <laughs> podcast studio photography <laughs> studio we have amazing cameras why do you say there's no black business in Soho there's those guys selling the purses on the street <laughs> Yeah. Yo, they right up front. If that's your vibe, yeah. Yeah. Come they, on, they, bro. they finally started recognizing me. Out, Al Alex and I were walking down the street with huge fucking equipment. They were like, "You want bag? You want my bag?" I mean, it was, it was so fucking. Funny. What black guys talk like that? No, no, that's I mean, it's, it's Canal Street. That's Asian. <laughs> but um, horrible decisions. You can that's check me Ajons. out on for fact's sake for some easy listening to. We just. Do random facts on there. It's a lot of fun. You ain't even tell them the website for the yeah, podcast studio. Oh, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for Alex studios. to talk. WTFmediastudios.com. Alex, really right. wasn't going to do this? If you got it. This is why I'm we have a partner. Right nah, here. fuck you. Listen, this is yo, crazy. I'm telling you, she not needed, bro. No. She not needed, I'm, bro. I'm starting to see that. I'm yeah. just trying to let she Alex really get not need, What did she do? What did she do? Wow, Weezy. Don't let them do you like what that. What did she do, bro? She's the promo and marketing. You were trying to get him to do the promo. That is I true. I was doing 15 do different things spot. over there. True. Taylor fell asleep Look, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I was doing all Taylor shit, too. Yeah. <laughs> 
It is so you to me at it studios.com. Will. You can book studio time, photography sessions, consults with Alex or myself. Alex can teach you how to set up your pod from home if you're remote, how to make the clips that he makes for uh, flagrant. Not anymore because he's too busy. But um, yeah, if you do one with me, we can go through your segments, figure out your podcast idea, or even if you're at a plateau, I can help you try to grow it with all of the gems that I have. So. Man, I'm proud of y'all, yo. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I, I remember when y'all had corporate jobs and y'all was just doing the podcast as a hobby. Now it's a full-fledged business. And we're growing. Alex, I remember yeah. when you quit your job and, you know, went to jail. Went to jail. You know what I mean? Now you're directing Netflix specials. Y'all opened up a studio. That is what entrepreneurship Absolutely. is all yes. about, man. It's an amazing thing. Thank you, thank you, man. We need to salute all the half black entrepreneurs out there. That, <laughs> oh, half black right, entrepreneurs. <laughs> Yo, for real. Half black business is booming. Let's go. Oh, it's 68%. <laughs> okay. If Barack can be our first black yeah. president, y'all can be black owned businesses. Oh my okay. God. That's a good ass point. Barack really paved the way for you honkies to do whatever <laughs> yeah, you want. He really paved he the way for you half honkies. honkies. Thank you, Barack. Right. Uh, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're, you're really right, right. Too. right. That's right. <laughs> it's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Bye, Peace. guys. Bye.